Come on, what do we got? We're professional now. Are you ready to do this? I am so ready to do this. It's Monday morning and it's Collider Live and we had a weekend and that's the show. That's what we do here. Yay. It's the show. Yeah, good, Ooh. good. good. What's up, everybody? Good start. It, it is a good wow. start. It's, it's Collider Live and uh, look, here's the thing. And I, I reminded you once, I reminded you twice. If you click on, you see they're going to talk about the Joker images right now and you're like, oh, what are they talking about? They're just talking about their weekend? That's the show, sons of bitches. So <laughs> tune on out, go do something else and tweet at me because I won't tweet back because I deleted. Twitter and Facebook off of my phone this morning, and it feels like I just took a it. big fat shit. It was amazing. How are you going to retweet my stuff? I'm not going to. Roxy, oh. how are you? I look a little upset about that, but otherwise, I'm pretty good. Roxy Stryer is here. Mark Riley, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I can't believe you actually deleted your uh, Twitter and Facebook off your phone. I'm well, proud of you. I wanted to do it for so long. Yeah. And um, the reason why I didn't was because of, uh, you know, promotion and all that kind of stuff, too. But yeah. look, the Schmoes account is still out there, the Schmodown account is still out there, and the. Uh, and the Collider account's out there, so we need to tweet stuff out. There it is. Uh, I just can't. I can't deal with it anymore. I don't. I just. How long does it last? A week. A little bit. I mean, because here's the here's the reason why. What I realized, I I can't have conversations with my friends out there because here's this this is the thing that happened with. So when we have a conversation about a movie, right? For example, Copster and I were talking about um, Predator. He liked yeah. it. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Copster liked it, and JTE and Lon Harris also liked it, right? Which is fine. Which is I don't agree with. I think the mm -hmm. movie stinks. But they, the two of them, the three of them liked it, and so we had a conversation. And I, and I was playing around with JTE, and I read to JTE um, the, the the gif of the Godfather. You broke yeah, my heart. You broke my heart. And this fucking one guy who keeps chiming in to every conversation I had. I had the same conversation with with Andrew Guy, and he's just like, you know, I love. He's allowed to have his opinion. Uh, you can't tell him to have his opinion on the movie. And I'm like, dude, I'm fucking having a conversation with my friend, and all I did was you broke my heart. Get out of here. It's like the one guy that just like wants to be in the circle and is like coming in. Get out of here. Get out because I blocked him. I blocked somebody else. Or get else. in in a good way. Like we, you want people to yeah. add to the conversation, but not with that kind of shit. But it's like, are you fuck? Are like again? But the thing is, I'm clearly JTE has been a friend of mine for like six years now, and we're playing around. And I didn't say to him, oh, you're an idiot for liking that movie. I just and we would launch. It's, it's but even like, if you did, you did a even in it's, it's, it's me, yeah. But it's me, me and JTE talking. Yeah. It's like this is like it's not. Now there's a difference if there's some fan out there. Like if it was him, and I'm like, what are you doing, man? How could you like this movie? Then you have every right to, to write that back. But don't get involved in, in friends' conversations. I got rid of, like, and I, instead of blocking people and doing this and just my, it's like. You know, and I'm going to give credit to Snelling and and Jay because they they were talking about it. Just like, why do you even bother talking? Getting stressed out and talking and and like it's like, you know, if you like social media, good. But it's like I feel that social media has destroyed us as a civilization. I, I Remember when we started this show and yeah. uh, I think the very first episode, you were like. I say a lot of bad things about social media, but it's really been amazingly helpful, it and did. I'm not going to be down on it again. And, and then within seconds, within seconds, <laughs> boom. Well, because that was a different situation. You know, my brother passed yeah, away, 100%. and people and people come out, and like the good people came out, and I think the bad people. But you got to remember that they're there. Yeah, they're there. Right? Well, but it, the struggle but, is real. I but, get it. But you <laughs> choose. You choose whether or not you want to deal with it. Yeah. So instead of just saying everyone's stinks out there, just turn it off. And that's what I did. I'm just trying yeah. to get rid of it. I don't. Yeah. I, I, I don't need it in my life. So it's gone. Um, and I'm not going to be involved in the Facebook pages anymore. I'm not going to do any of that shit I'm at just, all. No, I'm done forever. Until until I don't, until I want to again. I'm just done. I I'm going to be. I'm going to be studying your state of mind in the office yeah, and just it. see if if you start to walk lighter on your feet because that weight is lifted. I, I because I might. I, I I'm trying to do the same. Not yeah. delete, but I'm trying to avoid and not go in there and get wrapped up in my phone. Uh, because y you can disappear yeah. down the rabbit hole. I'm just done. Like I, you know, this, the, the, I was uh, having a nice morning with my daughter uh, on Saturday, and some some guy finds my f regular Facebook page and 
where it's you're a fucking asshole, suck on a dick, and I'm like, I'm like, it's, I'm, I'm making like breakfast yeah. for my daughter, and this is what I'm checking. I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. I get it. So that's that's what, it. You, what you, you that have more guy to do it. Oh. What, was the, what was the impetus I, behind I, that? I, maybe I didn't no, like. Just, a, maybe I didn't like a movie. I, dude, I had someone. Jesus. I had, I had Does some, there have to be a reason yeah, anymore? I had some like psychotic lunatic find my number, call me. He's like, you have shitty taste in movies. Oh like, yeah. This is a person call find my number and and does this. It's like like you are a, you're you're a criminal. Yeah, you're a criminal. Well, remember, and you're gonna go to jail because I found out who the person is, and I'm gonna. You have, did? Yeah, I'm gonna have police go to the house, but they don't <laughs> even realize. It. It's great. A couple of years ago, I got a lot of heat because there was a, a couple on the show Glee. Do you remember the show Glee, mm-hmm. the Ryan Murphy show? Of course. And the couple happened to be a black girl and a white guy, which is not why I didn't like them together. But I didn't like them together on the show. I said right. that on After Buzz. I got maybe like hundred thousand tweets about it. Suck my dick. You're the worst person. You're a racist motherfucker. Everything that you could say to somebody, and then they hacked into my phone or whatever it was tweeted out my social security number oh, what and my address and right. my phone number and everything that I have right so that, that's my point is I, it's because just, I it's, because it's, I didn't like a relationship on a TV show it's a cesspool it's a cesspool out there so um, off it goes off my phone enjoy your enjoy your lives out there and have fun um, but the other thing that was funny too is that uh, you know speaking of, uh, of texting and social media and things this is actually you're gonna get a kick out of this so my mother-in-law, God bless her. Um, oh. <laughs> so there's two things that she did over the weekend that I have to I have to say because it's really funny. So she, you know, she's she's only eighty, almost eighty years old. So you know, it's it, 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 it not as quick as you were when you were younger. Sure. So um, so she, um, so I'm not going to spoil this for anybody in case you're watching, but Ozark, right? So I'm going to change the name of a character because I don't want to spoil it, right? Okay. Um, but for you, it's the person that. Uh, it's an, it's hopefully I'll just pick it up. You'll pick it up. So <laughs> anyway, because I know you haven't watched it yet. No, so I've seen no. I'm two episodes before finishing. Oh, okay. So you'll so be, so the so same, three or two. The same point. So let's so anyway. So the point is, she, my mother in law has finished the show. She loves the show. She texts my wife and she says, in the text, "What? How far along are you in Ozark?" So my <laughs> wife writes back, fake character name, Frankie just died. Mm-hmm. What? What do you mean? We have a cousin named Frankie oh. when what happened my wife's like I, I mean you just asked me if I like the show <laughs> and, and what part of what part of the show I'm in and I just told I just told I, I, you can't be serious so she just lets go she calls my sister-in-law wakes her up out of dead sleep what happened to Frankie <laughs> what do you no. mean say he said he died <laughs> and so my sister-in-law wakes up going <laughs> what the hell's going on Frankie died what, what's happening what? My sister's like, no. My, my, oh my, my sister, my, my wife is going, no. She, she asked me where I was in the show, and I told her, like, what, what, what are you doing? So there's that then. That's Riley, amazing. Then Riley, no, this is amazing. Then Riley posts something. He goes on, we'll get into this whole thing here yeah. after this, but this boat trip that they go on this weekend with Makuga and, and Finstock and and Riley just posts Motherfucker. out. Motherfucker. But we'll talk about it in a second. Yeah. But Riley posts out a three-hour tour, which we all know. A three-hour right? tour. Yeah. Riley, the reference. Yeah. 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 Riley, Riley texts me, and he, and he says, look at look at the response from your mother-in-law. My mother-in-law writes. <laughs> Do you know her? Yeah. My mother-in-law writes, where is the tour? Or, no, a three-hour tour where? A three-hour tour uh, where? And I said to her last night, because she came okay. over to dinner, I go, Pat, it's from Gilligan's Island. I never watched the show. And I was like, but it's a pop culture reference. She's like, just tell him I'm stupid. <laughs> I, go, I go, it's not stupid. I go, it's, just, it's, it's funny. just funny. It's just funny. So we she, were cracking. She does that a lot on my social yeah, media yeah, we're posts. Cracking it's like I post it with Julie. She's like, there you are. Yeah, she, and I'm like, yeah, where? She, she, <laughs> yeah, there we are. She cracks that me That is up. true. She's no, so funny. She's a, she's a character. She's wow. a character. She's hysterical. Um, poor but, Frankie, who everybody thought that Frankie was dead for like a good half hour. Well, I think because Frankie just got into a car accident, so that's what they thought was, was happening. Oh but but Frankie's fun. Um, but Crappy any, timing. But anyway, what we realized inside of those pictures was... Was that uh, Finstock was posing him, and I was gonna do a gif of uh, of Peter Dinklage because I think he they, they both he looks like Peter Dinklage. He looks like I can kind of see it. Yeah. Um, so kind of more like the way he stands. Yeah, like, yeah he's got. He's, and when they were um, and how drunk he is. Yeah. So there's pictures of him. They're pulling it up right now. There he is. 
Yeah, he's in the, he's in the beach. He's riding a. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah, does it look like Peter? He got Peter Dinklage. It looks like. Yeah, they look like John right. McEnroe. So what? So Roxy though, this so picture I, I infuriated saw this. you. Yeah, I saw this. Uh, Riley tweeted out this picture, and mm-hmm. I wrote on it, being like, um, "Remind me on Collider Live that I'm gonna rail this guy because yeah. I." Uh, he, and I had no idea. I was like, "Oh right. shit, what so, happened?" So I've known him as a, for a long time now yeah, through yeah. you guys, mm-hmm. yeah. and he's actually always been pretty decent to me. So I feel bad about this, but I don't because okay. fuck him. All right. Um, he Serious. so Ben and Andrew have a, a Patreon Ben Bateman as and ben Andrew, Bateman guy, Andrew yeah, guy have team a, action. a Patreon as many of us do um, and they were doing they were starting something new and so they were going to do a watch along a drunk watch along that they were so excited about and had to buy so much equipment for you know to go live it's a whole different yeah, yeah. thing and they invested so much time and a month before they talked to Finstock and they were like Listen, we want you to be the first guest on the show. It's really important to us. It's a big like deal. And he was like, oh, yeah, totally, guys. Totally. Right. I'll absolutely do it. They were like, okay, it's a month out on this Saturday at this time. And Did he- they remind him? 15 times. Okay. So they, he was like, I got it. Of course it Absolutely. Did. Absolutely. And they were like, what movie do you want to talk about? Like, catered to him as much as they possibly mm-hmm. could. Then they said to everybody, if you get to the $10 tier, you get to watch Finstock, watch this movie. Oh, no. And so, so they promised, the, they promised, they the promised them stuff, a yeah. month in advance. So everybody started bumping up to the $10 tier. Yeah, right. Then they started a whole new Patreon for it. People started contributing because to that. Because they wanted to watch Finstock, yeah. watch this movie. Right. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars, right. if not thousands of dollars for wow. fucking this guy right. to come watch a movie. So then two weeks before, hey Finstock, we're so excited. We're gonna Uber what you there and it? back. Um, Mission Impossible Mission 3. Impossible okay. 3. So they said we're gonna Uber you there and back. What's your booze of choice? We're gonna pick it up for you, so whatever you full want. Nine for like this guy. Yeah. yeah, like pulling out all of the stops and he was like, Yeah, yeah. A week before, same thing. What do you want? Yeah, I'm so excited. About, I don't know, maybe twelve hours before Text message from Finstock, them being like, see you tomorrow, and him being like, oh, guys, um, can we do it a different time? Right. Can we do the live watch along a different time? And they were like, oh, is everything okay? What's going on? He was like, oh, yeah, just like family obligations. All of a sudden, my girlfriend's sister's going to be in town, and I don't know what to do. I'm just stuck between a rock and a hard mm. place. Let me try to get out of it. I'll let you guys know. Okay. And then day of, morning of, they're like, yo, what's up? Yeah. Are you coming? And he was like, nah, sorry. Doesn't show up. Can't can't make it. They do it without him. Everybody was so great. Yeah. And they fans call, okay with the it? fans were the okay. fans were upset right. that Finstock wasn't there. They're huge Finstock right. fans. Right. Everybody's a Finstock fan. Like mm-hmm. everybody and their mother. It's well, so bizarre. There's some people that there's aren't. some people yeah. who aren't. Some people right. can't stand it. But even right. them, they, they paid to watch him to hate on him. Right. Everybody's paying to watch Finstock. Right. The fans were really sweet about it. But all of a sudden, I'm sitting. I'm looking at Riley's fucking feed, and I see this motherfucking picture <laughs> of Finstock. It's such a perfect picture. <laughs> of Finstock yeah. on the beach. With a beard. On the beach. In shorts. Oh, yeah. Obligations. Right. This is obligations. Let me tell you something. This surprises me zero. He's got a LaCroix, by the way. It's not a beer. It doesn't look like it. Looks no, like LaCroix. no. somebody uh, no, commented asking if it was LaCroix, and no, he said it was like a creamer. beer. It's, yeah. a, it's like a... Cali cre- Creamer. Cali Creamer, thank you. Oh, okay, Cali uh, Creamer, yeah. That, because that, I read every comment on the thread. It surprises yeah. me zero. I don't tell you why. Okay. Um, you, you said that, I just, I left my ass. Listen, off. he finds what the best option is to do with his time. Um, if he makes, if he if he locks it down, that means nothing. I cannot tell you how many times, this is what you get when you get with him. And, and by the way, here's what I want to do, because I want to make sure, because I will say this, and this is the only thing I'm going to address about this whole thing. Uh, last Wednesday, um, when we talked about the whole thing with the afterthoughts thing, uh, Riley and I were in the wrong for, and I'll tell you why. Yeah, Snelling was not around uh, to defend himself, uh, and it's something I don't want to happen again. Um, so I want to make sure that Finstock does the same thing doesn't happen. We're going to give him the opportunity here. Um, Tweet at him, everyone watching right now, at Bob Finstock, and mm-hmm. say, hey, you really should either pay attention to your text because Riley's been trying to get you on the show, or mm-hmm. get on there and defend yourself against Roxy because we want him on right now because I'm going to let Roxy talk here, and then we want Finstock to call in. So yeah, we just can't I would get love touch him we tried, too. We tried, the difference is we didn't try to get in touch with Ryan. We did get, we're did. we trying to get in touch with, with 
Finn's talking. Here's what and, bothers me so much about this. Well, go ahead. No, and it's just really funny to me because we've had this weekend planned for two months. Like, you know how hard it is to get well, everybody together? He double together. books himself. He, he, he double you, you himself. Gotta, I knew it because you have a boat. There's all of right. you. Like, there's yeah. no way you guys woke up that morning and were like, by the way, you want to come on this boat? Yeah. But that's not even what bothers me so much. What bothers me is that I feel as if he's somewhat of an opportunist. And well, I think that if... Drew and Ben were further along in their careers. They're doing really well, but if they were bigger right now, then he wouldn't have missed it. He wouldn't have fucking missed it. I'm and that's gonna... what bothers me because you have to think about where people are going to be in five right. years, ten yeah, no, years. No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't look at it that way with him because he because there's there's a certain element I, to that I, I believe is probably true. Um, and he probably didn't understand uh, the how like that you can't just he doesn't understand these type of things with patreon too like when you can you can't just say hey guys we're promising you this you can do it next week the rescheduling of it so he probably like didn't if you how, and ellis you, people are paying to watch you guys if people don't he still would have been late sudden, or possibly done that with us too it doesn't that's what i'm saying no. he's not he's it's not that i've I've had him booked for things. I've had him booked for Schmodowns that were going to get hundreds of thousands of views that he was supposed to be at, and we had to make people cut the promos early because, like, oh, you, you know, you, you told me you're supposed to be at two thirty. I'm like, yeah, it's three o'clock. Yeah, and he's, yeah, yeah, you know, you know, but you can push my little right. I'm like, no, I can't. No, it is, but he that it's just who he is, and that's what you get with him. Like the prop, it's, it's not, it's not right. It's but that's not right. Who, but that's who he is, and that and that's the thing. So if we can, well, then I hope that his career uh, that shows. Yeah, you're, uh, really, you're really pissed at him. Yeah, I'm really, really upset because yeah. I know, I know he wouldn't have done this to other people. I, see, see that that uh, he would have, he would have. Yeah, it's it's not the thing. It, it has, not, it doesn't matter who it is. He would have done it. it he's that's a, just, he's gets flaky like this, but I don't, it. I don't think anybody. I think I don't that think he did it intentionally he, to them. I'm pissed. I'm yeah. pissed, and I love Finstock, but I, this made me like look at him in a different way because I don't oh. think it's right. See, the thing is, it's just if you I, have I'm to cancel, surprised. if somebody's yeah. in the hospital or something goes wrong, or just be a douche. And be like, guys, I'm going to the beach. Right. But why would you lie about it and then put it up on social media so that while they're doing the live stream, their oh, fans really, are tweeting at them saying he's at the him. beach. Is he? Is he I texted him. I texted him twice. Needs, yeah. said, you have to call into the show. It's not right. Yeah. Cody, cops are lock him down. We got to get him. What I was saying about the you and Alice thing, it'd be like if one of you guys didn't show up. If right. you were Alice, like you guys come pay for this, pay for this. This is what we're doing. By the way, I'm just not going to show. Well, I want to know what the fans think. Um, should they think I'm right? Do you think? Do you think? I, that, I'm, I'm seeing it pretty. Uh, split down the middle. Split down the what? Middle. No yeah. fucking. Well, well, yeah, no yeah, here's way. Uh, you don't, you don't, you don't, don't yell. You don't know what their here's argument why. is. Here's What's why. their argument? A lot of fan, Finstock fans right. being like, he don't give a fuck, right? And yeah, that's but, cool because I that. like Finstock. <laughs> and <laughs> good, I good say, argument, solid argument. I, I think that I on that. the other <laughs> side, maybe I'm going to put it at I'm going to put it at sixty forty now. You. Uh, on your side, they're, right. they're like, "Get him, Roxy!" Like one here, right. "Get him, Roxy!" That's fucked up. Got to tweet at him, guys. Roxy tweet at him, bombard him right now. At Bob Finstock, going at him. This is this is, burn him. There's one. Yeah, well, I uh, just did. He, there's the match. There's the gasoline. He, I want. I really want him to call in though, so badly. So what's he please. gonna say? What's I, he gonna say? It, it'll yeah, be I gold. Do that. It'll that be gold. I, I want to see him. I want to see him bounce around it. I want to see how he defends himself against it because if anybody can, it's him. He could probably he probably charm you by the end of it. You probably believe in him. I I, I do. He does charm you all I'm the saying. time, and that's, that's the what great. He does. There are great things about him, but you. I don't like inconsistency in friends. I don't like it. How do the guys feel about it? Uh, you know them. Yeah. Drew is ready to light the place on fire, <laughs> and Ben's like, "Let's be reasonable. Let's be." Sounds reasonable. about right. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, what about what about one of those guys? I'd love to get one of those guys on to hear about this. This is the drama. I have a text drama to, to Ben as well right now. Yeah, so. Ben or Guy or whoever Good. wants to call in, be amazing. I'm, I'd love to hear I'm about also this. separately this nice little drama you brought to us on Monday. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, obviously they got way too drunk too because yeah. they're supposed to split all the alcohol three ways, and now and they, they have drank to all drink all of it. So I'm blaming that on Finstock too. And how was your beach? We got it. You got who you got? got I, I, think we, I think he's on right now. Yep. Hey, Tom, are you there? Dickery, dickery, duck. All right. Oh. All right. Perfect. Listen. Uh -oh. Okay. So I don't know. All right. So joining us right now is Bob Finstock. Oh, oh it's a little. It's a little late, there, Beardo. Uh, After they're already on. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Beardo. So Bob Dude, Finstock. Uh, yeah. Bob Finstock, aka Tom Dagnino, is on now. Tom, I don't know if you've been able to listen. Have you listened to any of the show yet? Uh. You know, I hear things. Oh, you hear things. Okay, so listen. Uh, I what want does you, that even mean? I want you to hear this. So, you're being you're being accused of something right now, and you. I'm going to give you a chance to defend yourself because I don't want you to get uh, you know destroyed and then you, you you can't defend yourself. It wasn't me. It was no. Well, you don't you don't even know what what you're accused of. It was absolutely. Yeah, I know, but it wasn't me. All right. Well, well so, all right. Well, listen. Here's here's what happened. So, Ben and Andrew 
on their Patreon had said that they were going to do a watch along with you. And they told yeah. all their fans at the ten dollar tier, and all these fans, and they went out and they they got you some liquor that you like, and all this stuff. And then two days later, uh, or excuse me, two days before it was supposed to happen, you told them you had a not fam- two days, one day. With one day, you told them you had a family obligation. No, forty eight hours. Forty eight hours, no. whatever it is. You said you had a family right. obligation, and you couldn't make it. But then I said I had a function. I never wor- mentioned the word family. Okay. Do you, you didn't mention your your girlfriend and her sister. Oh yeah, we did that, but that was something different. All right, that was. And I told him we were going to the beach. All right. So yeah. you, you told him you were going to the beach. So he says that he told him they were going to the beach. Show the proof. All right. So sorry. So Roxy says that you didn't say you were going to the beach. I said you, I was going to Newport Beach. Okay. You said which you, I did. All right. So see, he saying, said you were you you said you had obligations that you had your sister's girl your girlfriend's sister was in town and that you had to pick her up somewhere. That's true. I did. Okay, so and that's then true. I went to Newport Beach. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, he took I him to the that. beach. I wanted him to call in. All right, wait. So, All right, so, I, so, so wait. knew that. So he's doing what you said you wish he would have done. No, he's sorry, a- guys, going to the beach is different than obligations. But also, what I wish he'd done is not canceled. That's what I wish. Well, that's he'd a wish, done. but he did. Well, here's I- the deal. Here's okay. what happened. All right. Saturday at two o'clock. I can't. My time is too too valuable to sit back on a Saturday. So why did you agree to it? What? Let him finish. But your your question is valid. But let him finish. So you 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 your time basically because he's like, you know, Ben was like, you want to do this? I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. And then he comes back with a Saturday at two o'clock. A month I'm like, ago, Jesus Christ! A month ago, I go, how am I supposed to get drunk on Saturday at two o'clock in Beverly Hills? All right, well, wait. So, okay, so wait. So a month ago, though, but you 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 were obligated. You made you 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 told these guys a month ago that you were going to do this, and so you knew within a month. And you also booked two months out with Riley that you're going to be the speech. So is it fair to say that you double booked yourself and then you forgot at the last minute and canceled? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, I tried to make it work. It just it just wasn't in the cards. How did I you, wanted them to move. How did you try I don't to make? Know how Patreon work. I don't know how Patreon works. I don't know if it's live or whatever. See, what I but they, know, when they said it was live, you knew. He doesn't pay attention. Yeah, but I didn't know it was like that. So I was like, hey, let's tape it and let them watch it live. You can but understand. I, but the, do I you, don't know the schematics of that. Do you understand why both Roxy, Andrew, and Ben are upset with you? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> ben, not as much. <laughs> Uh, you don't get that. You don't get that. That you were promised to the fans, and that's how money was made. And uh, you promised you'd be somewhere, and then you didn't show up. I, I couldn't make it. My, <laughs> listen, my schedule. <laughs> my, oh. schedule <laughs> my schedule flip flops like flapjacks. You, know? you know, when people say I couldn't make it, it's usually because like somebody died or sick right. or. No, no, I never use that excuse. No. I, I, my dad died, and I showed up at a podcast one day. <laughs> but this, you couldn't make it. So you because did, of the beach. because it was Saturday, oh. right? Saturday at two o'clock is a very interesting time for me. Look, I'm starting this new business. It's a sonar thing. No, I'm working on these sonars. No, I had to do that. I had to do a lot of different Stop. things. Stop. I think you. Get, I think you owe them a speaker. legitimate apology. Yeah. I, I, you, look, this isn't this isn't behind the curtain here. This and is the fun. fans. Look, Roxy's legit upset with you. Yeah, I like, came really in really upset, upset with you. She's, I, she's she's hot. I was hoping you'd be here today so that I could talk to you about it. I was actually going to call you about okay, it this listen, weekend, but then I wanted I to roast you on air. Patreon works. I don't know how it works. I I told him let's do it at night. I'm more comfortable. I don't think I could have put on a great performance on Saturday at two o'clock in the afternoon when I had ten other things going and on. And you wrote this Plus, to them? I said I told Ben that. A day before? After everybody was already gonna be watching live. Why why not weeks Two days. before? I told him on Thursday it's not looking good. And I tried to swing it, but I couldn't swing it. It's not looking good is different. You were like, I'll let that. you know, and then they I, had to reach back out. Why why wouldn't you Three weeks ago, say, sorry, or two weeks ago, or a week ago, sorry, guys, that time doesn't really work. Why can't we do later? Because I thought it might at first, because I was going to parlay it into another thing that I had going on in uh in Santa Monica. Right. Well, we're dan- we're dancing around the same circle here. So uh, what I, what I'm gonna what you I'm owe gonna... an apology, man. Yeah. So Rox- man up, sack Rox- up. Roxy thinks that you. Well, to, first of all, to me, because I had to deal with two t- way too drunk people. Second of all, to the fans, because that's why they paid to see you. And third of all, to Drew and Andrew, because they booked you as their first guest on their show. They were so excited about, it, and you were a dickhead about it. Hey, I know that, and I'm very sorry about that. I told them I was very here sorry. Here we go. 
All I right. said I was going to pay for the liquor the next time. Okay. But look, it can't be on a Saturday. I don't do stuff on Saturday. Hey, listen, that's, you don't have to tell me that. That's between you guys. But wait a minute. So he just said he apologized. Yeah, he apologized. He said he paid for the liquor. So He it, didn't pay for the liquor. He said he, so he, said he will, time. but he yeah, said yeah. he no, will. I said when I, if they'll that's have nice. me on again okay. on, a week, on, a, on a weekday evening, I will come over and pay for the liquor. So is this a little bit better now? I think that as long as you apologize to the fans like you just did and you apologize to them and, and to me, then I'm okay. You apologize to Roxy? Yeah, of course. But look, guys <laughs> like me... <laughs> I'll, I'll take that. All right. <laughs> Listen like what I'm saying. Course. All right. Listen to what I'm saying. What am I listening I to? I don't know how that works. I don't know how the Patreon works. All right. I, like, I don't like that excuse as much. I don't that know a, that. That is a stupid... That. That, that, listen, that's a stupid thing. You're a thing. smart guy. You Otherwise, should, you're claiming to not be, yeah, and you, I know you are. You so need, you need live to, is live. Yeah, bro. that you need to figure out. So, listen, this is what I'll tell you. If someone books you for a show... You, you don't cancel within 20, 24 to 48 hours, it's, especially on a Patreon live stream. Because you know if you had done it for Schmodown or anything here, too, you wouldn't be on this show for another eight months. And also, like my, well, like my grandparents always told me, if you're going to be bad, be smart. Don't have somebody take a picture of you and put it on social media. He doesn't care about that stuff. He wants to show up as pecs. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, yeah. That didn't make a difference. I told him I was going to the beach. Yeah. I said I had three different functions to do, and putting on a time frame – was, was, it just wasn't going to work. All right, well, Bobby, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm bored with this now, so I'm going to move. I'm going to move. Thank along. you for your apology. For what it's worth, we had a hell of a Tom, weekend. Thank it was you really for your good. apology. And I hope you had a no great. No problem. I mean, it's going to look. You know, Bob Finn suck is Bob Finn suck. It's just the way it's going to go. All right. Well, thank you, Bob Finn <laughs> I didn't understand that part. All right. Well, he's got. So, like I said, he. Thank you, Bruno. Um, so he Does was. Does that a... mean somebody's calling or that man? He was going. No, away. that means that... Bruno's Beard, yeah. just being funny, like his movie Tag. Um, did you see that piece of shit? I really liked it. Tag. Get out of here. I loved it. I it's really bad. liked Tag. It was so fun. It's Wait, not Beardo funny. liked it? I thought it was funny. So did Roxy. I really yeah, liked it. Here, here, good. Here's the thing. With I that. really I it liked good. it. Here's the, the problem with the movie. It's, it's, we, the love life situation is whack. There's but. two things with the movie. So first of all, we start watching. We want, we've been watching Ozark. We want to take a little bit of a break, right? Because So you watched Tag? Well, the first thing I was like, we, so we just want to watch a movie. So we, I've got a whole bunch of movies sent to the house. We're going to watch Solo. First, right? So, oh we throw, so we throw Solo on, and eight minutes in, I was like, I, and I can't do this. The worm creature pops up. She's like, I can't do it. And she's like, I just not. She's like, I don't know about never, but I just can't do it right now. Mm-hmm. I was like, all right, it's fine. Has I, she seen it? She hasn't seen it yet. Oh. No, no, no. So, and, and, I, and I, I like the movie fine. I'm just not going to put up enough of a fight for it mm-hmm. to say, like, hey, you need to watch it. Um, so we turn it off, and, and I was like, well, let's just finish Ozark. She's like, no, let's watch Tag. We got it. I was like, all right. So we start watching, and it's not that it's like a bad movie. It's just it's. I thought it was supposed to be funny. It's it's never it's never funny. It's I like thought it was really funny. You only watched ten minutes of it. You said I watched oh. like t- twenty. Oh, 20. So you don't oh, even know what happens if you at can't, the end. If you can't make me laugh in fifteen to twenty minutes, you don't even know what happens at the end. No, oh, all the I know, end, all is, know, the so end that, twist is great. Uh, all I know is that they get to the they it's get dark and fucked up. This whole thing, they get there, and Ed Helms <laughs> pretending he's working as a janitor just to tag his fucking friend, and then John Hamm is is then is getting interviewed by the Wall Street Journal, and they go off and they start tagging everybody, and I'm like, great. What? I'm like, but why, why aren't I laughing? I was laughing. Based on a true story. I was laughing. Uh, Hannibal Buress is you funny. Laugh at? The whole Jake thing. Johnson's funny. Yeah, they were all funny. I, I and the laugh. relationship was funny. And I was like, these are like my guy friends. Yeah, um, that was you, stupid. Have you guys seen that Ed Helms commercial that plays every two seconds now? Yes. That's like, no. As, as reliable what, and whatever. Yeah, as, as Ed Helms. Uh, like, why yeah. is he doing that? <laughs> what is happening? I don't know. Everybody has a commercial. <laughs> yeah, everybody. True. It's true. Um, but the guys got to eat. All right, well, you liked it. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really, I thought it was really funny. I thought it. It was unfortunate that we'd had some really great mo- like blockers kicked its butt, yeah. uh, game night or whatever. Yeah. Like game it, night was great. It got its ass kicked by a couple other things, but I thought it was funny. Fair, fine. I like Cody's the shaking his head at game night. No, you, so are you. Don't yeah. say Cody is. You well, wanted to chi- wanted, you wanted to chime in and say how much you that, hated that it. That much funnier. I thought it was much funnier. I, w- I wasn't laughing out loud. You watched ten minutes. Yeah, you, you have yeah. to watch the whole movie to critique <laughs> no, the movie. You no, can't. I, I didn't critique the movie. movie. I critiqued the You're part. Saying it's shit. I said that the first 15, 20 minutes of this movie was not good because you I was didn't not. Open with I was that. Like, you just said the movie sucks. Fine, the movie sucks. <laughs> but like 15 to 20 minutes into the movie, if you're not in a comedy, it's different with like a drama. I agree. If you're in not a, laughing, I just he's was. He's canceling his watch along with uh, the Patreon page. I already canceled it with them. <laughs> yeah. It was 48 hours before. So it, a drama. Yeah, he a, fudged those numbers. It, right. But a drama, it's like, you know, okay, wait, maybe this thing could. Could pick up. It's very hard for a comedy to then start to get jump because they do this thing with Jeremy Renner where they, they they like they couldn't they couldn't get him on as born. So you know what? Let's 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 start. Let's make him born now. And he starts doing this silly fucking slow motion fighting. Now I have to watch him as he comes in close. Oh, here he is. Oh, I, I look, like. I that. look to my left. That's great. I that look to my right. Awesome. It's stupid. It's great camera yeah, work. Great. I, I agree. 
Better Peter, than Mission did you, Impossible. Did you, you, you have family kidding. that made that movie, Beardo? No. <laughs> no? All right. Did, did you? Uh, Beardo, are we did related? Did you not like your family? Uh, no, I didn't, Beardo. I, th- I, I think my, I think everyone in my in my family, uh, if they liked Tag, are, are horrendous people. Garbage right. people? Yeah. Where does that come from? Do I like my family as, a, as opposed as opposed to <laughs> yeah, did what? your family make the movie? Now, now you're in this conversation. Now, why did you say something stupid like that? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, All it's right. so hard when you make people defend things they can't defend. They can't do it. It's so yeah, because well, you realize when he said it, he went, he, he said, "Do you like your family?" Why did I say that? And like, yeah. I was on your team, Beardo, and I had your back, and then you said that, and I was like, "Fuck." Yeah, right. I didn't know where I was going. With that. That's Stoned uh, Roxy watching it? Uh, probably. Yeah. So you were you too? <laughs> uh, the third time I saw, yeah. Third time you saw that movie three times. Are you kidding? All right, yeah. so, all right, Beardo. Here's here's a promise that I'm going to make you. Here's a promise I'm going to make you. I'm going How to. I'm, I will smoke a bowl and I will watch that movie. No, because you don't find it funny already. So you. I won't... don't find you funny. All right, I'm then. just kidding. I do find you funny. Oh, thank um, you. Yeah. Um, but it is it is hard once you already don't find something funny to go back and try to revisit. Maybe it. maybe Stone that. Yeah, I, maybe it's different. Yeah, and in Fisher. Uh, I, I like her normally. It, 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 fine, you like the movie. Uh, <laughs> moving on to uh, other things here. There's there's stuff going on in the world uh, in the world of movie news there is. that we're going to talk about because there's stuff uh, that we should talk about. Like uh, fucking what else? Like <laughs> box great, office. Great, like, great transition. Like the Carl. predator. <laughs> the predator opened horribly. Did it? Which is yeah. crazy because you know what's funny? Any clip that we put up. Whether it was you know us talking about it, if we were disappointed in it, or yeah. if someone liked it, or the interviews that Perry did on Collider Quick, they all did well. Yeah. Mm. But I knew that wouldn't lead into um, because the, the movie was pretty much panned. What was it on Rotten Tomatoes, guys? What was the what was the, the score? Oh, I I'll look it up. I, the last time I checked, it was thirty four. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. But it's more like a ninety four for me. Whoa. <laughs> really a ninety four. I don't I like know about a ninety four. Ninety four is not like thirty four percent. I really don't care tomatoes. about Rotten Tomato scores, anyways. But yeah, that's it is. Fair. It is thirty four percent. Thirty four percent. That's sixty one people liked it. Uh, one hundred twenty one did not. Mm-hmm. Um, and it made twenty four million. That's really gross. When it was, <laughs> it was tracking higher. Yeah. Uh, but it's uh, and this, it, it didn't con- open very well overseas either. It's only made fifty million world worldwide. Yeah, that controversy didn't help. Controversy no, didn't help. Not. And I'll also tell you, there's a joke inside of the movie that they should have cut because especially with everything yeah, going on, like it, it, without without her without that thing coming out beforehand, you leave it in, it's fine. But with the whole thing with her and it just the whole audience, like when I was just kind of. You could feel them like that's a that's that's not hot take. Range is strong. Hot you, take. You can take the hot I take. I thought it was funny as fuck. I thought it was funny. And everyone was in distasteful? everyone in our crowd, no, because it was fitting to the character. If any <laughs> other character would have done it, then it would have been out of place. But I thought it was funny, especially that whole back and forth between that scene. But I also get if people are going to be like feeling weird about it, yeah. I get that too. I can I, I it separate. It wasn't the, the character two. that bothered me. It was the, it was the fact that Shane Black, who has been protecting this. S- sex Dude. criminal, yeah. right? Uh, he wrote it, yeah. and it's like you're writing that right now. You know, this the scene is in there. This whole thing came out. I mean, maybe it was just too. It was it was just too quick to cut at this point, but. I mean, I don't know. They cut out. They cut out the dude scenes. I think they could have cut that scene out. And, I, and look, and I'm normally, I, I, you know me, I am, I am not easily offended. And I think people are too quick to jump on. This bothers me, but that just felt, that just felt dirty. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't think that's what sunk the movie. I think. No, that, definitely not. Yeah. A lot of other things sunk the movie. What do you think sunk it? Uh, well, this is what sunk it, but it bothered me so much. I told you about the swear oh. words. I don't, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It just it felt like words? normal. I didn't, I didn't think it was too much. It, it was you. I, I started counting. I that. I hit sixty seven. Like you counted them. That's I, awesome. I started yeah. more than is it I more than like, Wolf of Wall Street? It was insane. Because like, Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, like, fucking like, dude is gonna fucking do this and the fucking go over flow. the fucking thing. It didn't flow. It will. Every, here's the thing. You guys know if I was a character in a movie, she would swear a lot right. because I swear a lot. Not everybody swears a lot. So why did all of the characters, everybody including did. the little kids? Swear well, that, a lot. very similar to say like Guardians uh, of the Galaxy Two. Well, the problem I have with Guardians of the Galaxy Two, I'm very open about, it, is that everyone tells jokes. Everyone, there's no one that's just serious. And, and not everyone everybody tells is jokes. funny. That's what I mean. So, and maybe that that's your gripe with it. But here's what I'll say for Copster, Lawn, uh, JTE, and the and the other. Shout system. out to Hector Navarro. I guess Hector cool. liked he, he liked it too. Okay, nice. So, but again, the people who liked it, what I think from what I've heard, all of them say is that it was it was stupid fun. And if you can have stupid fun with this movie, and you, the one thing, Copster said it this morning, and I told him that it, it drives me nuts when people say it in general, but I've heard a lot of people say it. The what do you expect from this movie drives me crazy because I, I think expect that, a good movie always. Because there's a difference though, because to him, that, but uh, to defend Copster, 
Mm-hmm. He's to him that is a good movie, and that's yeah, oh, what he yeah. ex- he expected a good movie. But I don't like the fact when when people say like, well, what'd you expect from Shane Black? That's what he writes. He wrote, I think Shane Black writes a lot of smarter smarter comedies than this. I think he writes Kiss Kiss Bang Bang is a masterpiece. Iron Man Three is smart. It is a smart comedy. Like the different, and I always say I think for as an MCU movie it doesn't work, and as in a Shane Black movie it works. But that it, but it also flowed very well, and there wasn't a, you could see there wasn't a lot of studio interference. You could see the studio in, interference in this movie. You could see how choppy it was. You could, and, and again, these guys happen to love it, um, and and good good on them. Alex thinks it's his favorite movie of 2018. <laughs> Are you being yeah. serious? No, no. He, 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 liked, he liked, liked it. it. He didn't love I, it. I do uh, think I don't know exactly what was meddled. I think we can tell that third act is is yeah. fairly choppy, and the first two acts I think are strong, like on the same level. As, I'm not saying as good as like Nice Guys or Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, but that is like total Shane Black type of humor. And it, you, this movie for the Predator series is what he did for Iron Man 3 in the Marvel movies. Like he's not going to do the standard type of movie. Like I'm glad because like if we want like the same old guys getting hunted in the jungle, just watch the original or go watch Predators. Like this one, as silly as it may be, they went for it. And I think that's what the series kind of needed. Obviously, you know, with the controversy and how it's doing on Rotten Tomatoes and the box office, it's not really helping. But I like that it went in this direction. Like, it's different. It, we, we saw something different. And I like that they didn't take it serious. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, mm. I don't mind different. Different. Don't grunt at me. That was mean. Different, different is, is okay. That's, the, that's, that's not my. Yeah. I, didn't, but I, th- I actually thought it was. The difference between, again, if you look at Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Iron Man 3, I just thought this was a poorly written movie. I, I didn't think, think it was that different. I just think it was worse. Yeah, I thought it was poorly written. I, uh, poorly written, and also, I love stupid fun. Like, I, if you notice, I like movies that everybody else hates <laughs> all of the time. Uh, and this wasn't Jeez. stupid fun, it was just stupid. Yeah, I, 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 only, I didn't do that to disrespect you. I did that because the guys were going to do some shitty sound effects. That, so was, I did. that was good. I so did it myself. Um, there it is. There it is. Perfect. I do. Feel, I feel like the, the music. The, the, <laughs> Jesus, it sounded like a predator. It, it, sound, it, it I, actually did. I I don't. I didn't care for the manipulation of the score. Like it was. Just, it was like the score was kind of trying to like hide the fact that you know this was like a full on comedy. Like when the yeah. score comes in, it's like, oh yeah, this is a predator movie. Yeah. And then like yeah. So. Anyway, but uh, the movie. Dun, dun, dun. Go the see movie it. ate shit. Um, what's yeah. uh, what what else? What else is uh, what else? So that movie. What was number one? The Predator, Predator was, was number Predator one. Predator was number one. Yeah, and then, 24 then, million. 24. Then the, then the nun dropped catastrophically. Yeah. Okay. And Beardo, I thought Beardo was very excited about that. Beardo, yeah. were you happy about that? That it dropped? Yeah. I don't care. People will see it. Yeah. People are dumb. They're going to see it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then thank you for your Yeah, 18.2 million. The nun uh, went from 50 to 18. 18. It's still, though, it still made, it made a yeah. huge problem. I mean, look, it's made 85 here. What did it cost? Did you guys see a simple favor? I hear it's really cute. Loved that. I hear it's amazing. I have to see it. Better than uh, expected. Listen, 16 million at number three. I'm going to tell you something about it. crushed white boy yeah. Rick. Let, well, like. eh, less theaters. I'll tell you what, though. Simple favor. Um, here's the thing. I, I've done this a couple times, and I regret the score that I gave it on Schmoes. I think I gave it. What, cops, do you remember? It was like 3.4 or something? Like 3.5? It was like 3.4, 5, 6, 7. I, I would go closer to 4. I would go to like three point. Why did you do that then? I, I don't know. When I initially saw it, when I the next the next day, I went. And I was like, okay, it was really good. And it's it grown on you. It has. Yeah, it is. I mean, I called it like the ninety nine cent version of uh, of um, Gone Girl, which I don't think that that's accurate. I think it's more like the the more comedic um, version. And I had like a, a bit of To Die For Nicole Kidman in it. It was. It, you should see it. I, I, yeah. Yeah, I dug it, man. I, I have and friends I think are seeing it two, three times already. Blake Lively really? was. Awesome. That's what I hear too. She was awesome in that movie. This is easily her best performance, hands down. Uh, Anna Kendrick, who you obviously were on a Gossip Girl fan. I, I, you know, I'd seen episodes, but like no. Um, but this, no. It was really, it was really good. I thought that Paul Feig did a did a great job. It's his best movie in a while. Uh, I recommend it. I think Simple Favor is a movie that, and, and anybody can. And I think it, it's it's in here accurate. People were saying like it's a mommy blogger movie. I can't watch that movie. It's not a mommy blogger. She's, she that happens to be her profession. It, it, it was like a um, what's the one with Which wild one, Blake's things? or Anna? Anna Kendrick is the mommy blogger. It has it's got like you know a wild things vibe to it also yeah. a little bit too. Um, Paul Feig, that's great. It's it's good, man. It's yeah. good. I, I recommend it. you should take Julie to see it. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a, I, yeah she she actually wants to see it. Yeah, so. it's good. Oh, Can just, I come? 
Yeah, sure. Is this yeah. a, so what? It's I, a brand I new poster I, for for Venom. The new Venom poster, like a turd. Oh, that looks know, like uh, in the wind. Yeah, three things about the turd in the wind. I got I got the turd in the wind comment that I want to talk about, which I guess I'm the only asshole who likes it because you know. It's also in. I think that was in the comic. I don't know there was some line in the trailer I, that it was. I in laughed the at the turd in the wind. I think it's funny. Like a turd. <laughs> it's funny. In the wind. It, it makes it more human. It was so unclear if that's what it said at first. <laughs> that was the bigger problem. I was like, is that? Mm-hmm. T- did they say turd in the wind? It's a turd in the wind. Um, Where I the li- fuck is my I picture like on the wall? Poster. I think that you get it eventually. Alex, Alex is going to work. He's, it took him six years to get a Shire Wolves thing. He's, he's, mm-hmm. He'll do it. It does um, feel like a good place for my face. You're right. Very nice. Roxy, it does. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, Alex is working on it. And, I like uh, he's also What else is he working on, Beardo? Yeah. Hmm. He's still working on his spoonsman. There it is. It's good. Sorry. It was like one second it. delay, but not no, bad. He's all right. Beardo's on. Bad. Um, all right. So the, I like the poster. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me yeah, too. You don't like the poster, no, I... RB3? Great. <laughs> no, he doesn't like it. He's it's fine. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the to make of this movie laugh. anymore. Yeah. The uh, greatest I don't know. I, here's here's I... what I don't like. I wish they would have went rated R. I don't like that. Yeah. I don't like this that thing. Was the next well, news. don't worry, guys. It's going to come out with a, uh, you know. Director's cut. You can see the uh, the the that already cut. Oh my makes god! Me the director's cut. Yes. Here's you need the conversation. Can Second I throw this chances. at you? Um, yeah. The, yeah. Why they why they put it at PG thirteen? They're they're saying now that that leaves it open for him appearing in the MCU, which I don't buy for but, a second. But I mean, that, that's silly. It's like drop it down. Then you know, it's, it's what happened with Wolverine. He was in a PG thirteen so X Men movie, and they made a Logan. That's, yeah, don't, it's like I, I don't no, buy that. Don't don't lie to us. Tell us that we were put into PG thirteen because so we're not. Get more we're, scared, we're scared about the we're scared about the movie, and we want to make sure we can we can sell it to all audiences. Exactly. Uh, so we're making a PG thirteen. That's exactly. Don't lie. Honesty. It's like a fence. I'm going out. to the beach. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> that's a new thing anyway. now. Uh, yeah, I'm going to the beach. But this movie, I'm still excited for it. I'm, I know. I know that a lot of people are starting to get. I'm hesitant, but I'm ex- I'm I'm really excited. I hesitantly, love it. I really want to love this movie. I do too. Yeah. I just wish Spidey was in it. Well, what are I mean? I don't think you need him though. I don't think I don't you need know, him. Yeah. I'm, I'm with cops on this one. It's hard. I, I think it's you hard let them do their own thing, but you know yeah. they gotta they gotta take chances. It, it, it could be good with PG-13. Then that I, can yeah. open the well, gates. Well, look, here's the PG-13. This is the one thing that I will say. If this Marvel thing you're talking about, yeah, the man, the myth, the legend, the late great John Schnapp. Mm-hmm. Said on Movie Talk, yep, that he had heard, yep, that Spider Man was going to be in this movie. Yeah. Now, Peter the Parker. only thing if, if these if these reports or Peter Parker, right, right? These reports are true, and if if Schnepp had the had the inside track on it, right, and or you know everything can change. Maybe it was at one point, and then it switched out. But if he indeed was right, then this PG thirteen thing could make sense because. If that's the case, and they really want it because they want to tie it into the MCU, and that's what they're telling you, because we want to get the PG-13 people in who have seen Spider-Man to go, hey, it's Peter Parker. Because Peter Parker in a rated R movie would be a little bit more confusing. But I don't think I don't. It think would be show up, such an know. unbelievably we'll kept secret yeah. if they were able to pull that off. Something that Warner Brothers would never be able to do over in their camp. So if if Sony and Marvel camp yeah. can figure this out and do that, and nobody knew going well, into WWE it, WWE did it last night. Well, we're talking about that later. Yeah, we are. We're gonna, yeah exa- exactly. We're going to talk about uh, good tease. Well, yeah, yeah, it's true because well, Brock Lesnar showed up last night, and I don't think anybody knew about it. Again, I'm so far out of the loop. We're going to have Ryan Satin in and talk a little bit about. If you guys watched uh, Hell in a Cell last night, we're going to talk about that. Garbage it. people. Stop it. Okay, but it's so fucked up that I'm the soundbite for that because I never called anybody garbage people. Yeah. No, it's just a joke. It's, it's fun. just a joke. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, I, I didn't a realize. Ha ha ha. In the wind. Uh, but anyway, so what's so? We, <laughs> thank you, RB3. So we got Venom yeah. is PG-13 now. Sure um, is. The Nun ate a pile of shit. The Predator ate a pile of shit. They're both pieces of shit. And what's next? Uh, did you see the new Mary Poppins trailer? I have not. Did you? Yes. And? Really good. Mm-hmm. Is it? Mm-hmm. Good. Is Ellis, it, is it, Ellis pissed off? Ellis is going to hate it. I think. Why? Uh, I, oh, he, he, I, he wants he to hate magic. this movie. No, yeah. he doesn't oh, hate magic. Man. He hates the, he, he hates he hates whimsical. He doesn't then. want this movie. He he didn't want it. He's not excited about it. And I think at this point he's he's so in on on hating it that he can't he can't turn around. It just reminded can't flip flop. It reminded me of Maybe the original. It really did. Like it just yeah. it just really went went there. It's the first time. Yeah, let me. It was as long as it was. How long is it? The trailer? If it's if it's, it's too like long, two almost two minutes. Oh. Yeah, it's long, but you should see some of the visuals. Yeah, just just play the visuals. I'll start from the beginning and I'll I'll watch a little bit. Ooh, two twenty seven. I was dead at it. Yeah. I'll watch a little bit of it and see. We'll play a little bit of the trailer, so deal with it. It's nice. 
And you blew it. It's okay. Don't yeah. get that. I'm, I mean, this comes out when? November? Here we go. Uh, December. So, December this comes yeah. out. Yeah, oh, Christmas. Good, December 19th, I think they it's moved so it up. so perfect. This yeah. movie's going to... It's a great fight. mustache. I can't remember why we kept most the week after the Aquaman. Aquaman. Don't you remember yeah. that case? It's oh, that's before. right. So they're kids? Before. That with mother See, and these father. are the kids. Okay, I get it. Those days are long behind me. Okay. This kid didn't blow up the way I thought he would. Who's that? What's his face? From Bond. Oh, yeah. Let me know. I forgot these things. Even the music. Oh. The music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she shows up. See? I was blowing the All right. and I got caught on a nanny. <laughs> there she is. She's the best. Mary. Poppins. Oh. Who came back? You seem hardly to have aged at all. I love this. Really? One never discusses a woman's age, Michael. Yeah, it what feels like I the original. You better? Yep. They yeah, the same tone. I uh, like it. I think we'll do some fun shit with this movie. I agree. It's pretty. All right, I get it. Um... You get it. Yeah, I get it. So, I mean, I'll watch like, the rest of it. Do you take your daughters to see this? Yeah, yeah, well, for sure. I'm good. I'm, look, I try to take my daughter to see every every kid's movie. I'm, oh, you know what we started watching? Um, she's halfway through it. and Because, again, when it comes to, this is the one thing I will say. As for my daughter, my oldest daughter, I have been teaching her the ways of the, the, of the good movie. Because I want her to catch movies when she's like six or seven. Because when she gets like 13, 14, try to show her classics. She won't listen to you? Well, that's going to feel dated to her. When, when you're like a six, seven-year-old kid, you watch any movie. You don't yeah. pay attention to special effects. And, and if it's dated, you just take in the story and the music and everything, too. So I showed her Goonies a couple of weeks ago, and she loved it. Just half, uh, well, half the movie already. We started watching. We had to stop it because the baby woke up. But... Princess Bride. Oh. That's my second favorite movie of all time. She loves it. It's my second that. favorite that movie of all time. It's the best. So well done, parody. But it's the best. sir, it was a fight to get her to watch it because she's like, she's like my my she's like a tomboy. My, is my she like Fred Savage? Like she doesn't want to like. It was exactly that's how I pitched it because yeah. when I said to her, she's I was like, you want to watch Princess Bride? She's like, ah, I don't want to watch a girly movie. Yeah, and exactly. I like, and I'm like, and I was like, it's not. I'm like, it's not. And, it's I, was, the and, best. I, and I said, you literally are acting like the kid in the movie. And she's like, what? And I go, there's pirates. She's like, really? Like, there's sword fighting? There's giants? <laughs> yeah. God, you're having the, the whole Fred Savage thing. It was Savage the whole thing. The it was literally the same conversation. And then, so we're, pirates we're watching, we watch the trailer. And you know what? what's great out there is you can watch these old movies. You can watch modern. You just put, like, and I showed her the Last Dragon trailer also, by the way. But I, it was, but you put modern day trailer next to it. And people people put, have recut. They put modern. Day, I put the Princess Bride modern day trailer, and and she saw the um yeah they're bringing it up. But they they she she saw like the man in black. She saw the sword fighting, and she's like, uh, is that yeah, this is it. What, so this is the modern day trailer of Princess Bride, and I bring this up. Grandfather's here. Yeah. Can't you tell him I'm sick? He'll pinch my cheek. I hate that. Maybe he won't. Say. This is a different one, actually, but still, you get the idea of it. I brought you a special present. What is it? It was the book my father used this to looks read good. to I should me see when this movie. I was sick. You've never seen this movie? I haven't seen it. Oh, my God. What? You've never seen I have a Bride? big problem with people who don't like this film. This yeah. is one of those movies where if you don't like it, we can't get along very yeah, it's well. A, I mean, I'm, I'm with you, Rocky. Just because this it, is, yeah. it's everything. This is it, one of those movies. Yeah. yeah. I saw the first 10 minutes, and I was like, eh. No, dude, you should watch it. I think you would really like it, Pop, sir. I see what you did there. But, uh... But yeah, it, it took you a second. I was like, "Is he gonna get there?" It's, but it's a fantasy drama. The difference with that movie is that it can get you there eventually too. Yeah. If a comedy's not funny in the first 15, 20 minutes, it's like stand-up comedy, it's not gonna get you. Mm. If but if you think it, you might have. If, yeah. how, how fast did you start really laughing? Quickly, yeah, quick. Really that's what quickly. I'm saying. If you have a comedy, and same with Beardo, Beardo's probably laughing pretty. What quick about up some time. of those TV shows that are like borderlines? You ever watch any of those? Like, like Love or Never uh, heard of it. Love is great. Or Just Friends or what's the, the what? Or Friends just. from College? What's the, the one with Keegan Michael Key? Listen, this is why I listen to TV talk because I am so yeah. out of the loop. No, that, that that show I do know what you know. Or and I girls, didn't watch that show. sometimes yeah, on yeah, that, that that's, like that's, you that's, sometimes that's, laugh, sometimes no, no, don't. No, that's different. That's that's more that those are like dramedies. That, that's more. That's not like straight yeah, up comedy. Yeah, tag wasn't supposed to be a drama. No, that's yeah, a straight up straight comedy. comedy. Um, so that's the difference. Is that with, if there's a, if there's movies that are like uh, like for example, a simple a simple favor is like a dark comedy. Um, you I don't want to be like ha ha ha. The I wasn't time. like holding my side the whole time with that movie. And there's a couple of things I thought were like you know cute, but that, that's not why I was watching that movie. I was watching that movie to be engaged with the story and the and the performances and where's this going now? The twists, the turns. That's why I like that film. Um, I'm also a very hard critic when it comes to comedy. I mean, it, it's it's tough to. I, I haven't found many movies funny in a, a while. Yeah, I mean, me too. It, I think Blockers was. I like Blockers. I yeah. loved was it. Was one of the best yeah. comedies I've seen in a long time. Really the Game good. Night was great. Uh, yeah. I, I do want to see Tag though. See, Game Night like to that. me, what I will agree with with uh, with Beardos, I didn't. 
that movie, there was times like I was more engaged in the story for that one than I was the comedy. I didn't think that was overall. Like, the, the thing with the dog was was pretty funny, mm-hmm. like in in the in the room. But um, it wasn't like same thing. It wasn't like it was like the com- comedic version of the game, you know, it, it, the David Fincher film. But it was still I the, the, huh, the story, yeah. and I like Jason Bateman. I think that's what it is too. I um, love Jason Bateman. He's yeah. so good in Ozark. Yeah, I think I, I like Ed Helms, but like there's just something about him. He just he's never popped for me. I like I like I like him, but like I don't like I, I, his best work was The Office. It yeah. really was. Yeah. Hmm. And what else? I love him. Yeah, Andy Bernard. Yeah. Yeah. And he's The Hangover. The, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. He's he was great. Yeah. I was going to say that. Fantastic. I was going to say that, but yeah. I feel like he's kind of very similar everywhere he, he is. Yeah. Well, that's what that's the one thing I did like about Tag was that his character was for the first time was a little different. He was. In tag, he was the guy that was kind of like leading the charge. Yeah, he wasn't like the butt of the joke yes, all the time. Yes, he's always the butt of the joke, and I, I and that was the one thing. And you know, like I said, I'm gonna give the movie. I will because I actually I do in I don't mind them cracking jokes about. Well, you know, I only watch 15 minutes because I actually hate that. I hate when, when do people do that? Yeah, when you don't finish the movie because I, I I don't like doing that. If I have to sit there watching my wife though. Only has limited time of what the shit she can watch. So yeah. she's like, I'm done. Moving on to the next thing. I'll go back and finish it because I'll have to. So what did you guys to. do? Start Ozark again? We just watched Ozark again. We're, we're, yeah, we're <laughs> two, we're, so we're, you were 15 minutes in on Solo, 15 minutes in on Tag. And then we just watched two episodes of Ozark. That's like 30 yeah. minutes of something else. It's yeah. kind of what we've been doing lately with Ozark. I mean, yeah. it's like you're kind of him and Hall. What are we going to watch? And it's like, Ozark, Ozark. I know. Yeah. I wanna, now I wish I could go on TV talk because I want to talk about that show. That's what I'm doing with True Detective. I keep going back. But oh. now I'm actually in now. I'm in. See? I just watched season, episode five and six, and they were so much better than one, two, three, four. There was a lock so in. A lot that, more that show. A lot is, more you were in. locked into the show when you were talking, but you didn't even realize yeah, it. Yeah. You said, like, I think I'm pretty invested. Um, <laughs> all right, Riley, about anything it. else going on in the news? Uh, I got some. What do you got? Uh, we got a special guest here if you want to talk about the thing you wanted to talk about. Uh, is he, no, not yet. Not yet? Um, because I want to start oh. that off when we get back from, from okay, the break. Cool. Yes. Right, cool. yes, 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 yes. Um, let's do that because, and then here's, here's what we're going to talk about. I think, you know, we could. I think Riley did have something no, he wanted to yeah, share. Yeah, what else you got, Riley? Oh, oh, no. I mean, uh, what else is going on? Let's, I mean, there's some news. news. I don't yeah, know. Speaking got? of Solo, did yeah, you see yeah, what yeah. John Kazan did? He shared like 53 facts about the movie. I and it was that. like, one of them that like pissed people off, I saw. What, what was, was that? Was that he told Leia about the story in Solo. He's like, oh, yeah, he told Leia the thermal detonator yeah. story. And and that's why she brings it in and Return of the Jedi. That's That's the connection he shared. A lot of people didn't like that. They thought it was like no that that takes away from like Leia being a badass that she did it herself. It's also that that that's on it. He he says that he can say that all he wants. It's still not official canon. Yeah, no, you know he that's can true. He, he can say inside of his he can say that that that's what he thought when they were writing it and that's what yeah. they wanted to do. And he it. said I had it had to be explained. There was like this underline had yeah. to be explained. I, I read like, all this stuff too, and everybody was going bananas over all this. And I was like, yeah, it's all this fine. It's just a writer's process, and I was like, yes, it's, it's fine. And nothing, it's fun. nothing jumped out to me to where I was like, this is amazing. I saw. I guess that you know Fernandez was all it said. I guess I know what we're talking about on Rula too. And I was like, I, why? I know. Yeah. Why do I want to talk about? It? Who cares? Yeah, it does huh. say fifty two years. Useless solo factoids. But that's so. kind of the thing. There it's it like, is. Yeah, it's like, I don't Useless. Know, I, I don't know why. I mean, garbage. It's, it's, also, it's, a big problem: people who don't save things at PDFs, and then you have uh, the underlined red. Yeah, there was nothing in there. I think don't look, like that look. What I thought it. What that's, I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, that gets my. Oof, I don't uh-huh. know. What I thought was that the reason why he did it, which was smart, was he got this thing going. He played to the Star Wars fans who were going to tweet it out. And guess yep. what? Everybody knows Souls. Oh, Souls coming out this weekend. And it's what he did. It's, it's, it was promotional. It was smart. Promotion was perfect. Smart marketing, smart promotion. I read about, I don't know, half of them. I didn't read all of them. Everyone was tweeting at me at the time, like, you got to talk about this. You got to. Like, why? I mean, so okay, the speeder chase went through many, many iterations. Okay, and included some cool ideas that don't fit the movie. Okay, what, that what happens. do you think of this though? That the the Chewy Han scene in the under under where they meet for the first yeah. time. He said it was all Lord and Miller that they shot that. That's cool. Yeah, there was um, no uh, no reshoots there. I, I and I think that they said though the only thing I dislike I love that scene. I yeah, I thought the was, best, that's the best my favorite scene in the movie. Actually, the only thing I don't like when he's thrown into the ground. Yeah, and where he, yeah. Well, he meets Chewie and he's about yeah. to get yeah. eaten. But the, then I, I know where you're going. I, I had like. the same problem. Great, There's only one part of that whole thing. The rest of the scene is great, and I think it's a great introduction to how they met. It, unnecessary to have Han talk uh, Wookie. Wookie. Unnecessary yeah. because all it did was it was for a comedic. Joke. It's all it was for. It, it's it's not necessary. All he needs to do is understand him, and then Chewie being like, 
Wait, you understand me? And he's, yes, I understand you. Now yeah. let's work together. Yeah. You didn't have it, it, it took away from that moment. <laughs> it sounded ridiculous. I'm yeah, like, I agree with that. I'm with it's you. like, well, it was funny. It was cute. It's like, well, yeah, but there, there's just a time for it. Yeah. Um, but the rest of it, it's great that he did this. I mean, that was a great marketing tool. I just don't give a shit about it. Um, so, yeah, all right, what's, uh, what's, what's next? Well, that's kind of it that's for uh, all the, you know, other than the big, yes, everybody, we see you in that chat room. Uh, you know, the Joker image. Yes, don't worry. Out. We're going to talk about yeah. that. I mean, we're going to spend some time on it. So, yeah. What we I want to really dig in. All right, so here's what you do. If, you, if you're pitching and moaning about where's the, the Joker images thing, we're going to give it. They we're, were. I don't give a fuck. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, when we get back, we're going to talk. I want to talk about this Eminem, Machine Gun Kelly stuff that's been going on. I down. cannot wait for this. Because we, we brought in RB3s going to come in and understand talk about it, it too. And you guys. Yeah, so we'll, 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 all right, we'll talk about that for sure. Um, and then we're going to talk to Ryan Satin about last night's uh, pay-per-view event that happened with wrestling. And then we're going to talk for the remainder of the show about this, the Joker images, what it means, what we think about it, who the best Joker was after the break. Nice. So go take a long dump if you don't want to hear the rest of it and come back and we'll talk about uh, Joker whenever we want. Collider fans, I'm Christian Harloff, and you see my stupid name in the background because that's my other show. It's one on one with me, Christian Harloff. What the hell is it? I just sit down and talk to people. I literally just sit down and talk to people about what the hell's going on in their lives and their careers. And it's a long form interview show. Uh, originally, it aired on Collider Video as far as the YouTube channel goes, but we moved it on over and it's on the Collider Video Podcast, Collider Podcast, excuse me, on YouTube. Go on over there if you want to see the video and see the pretty faces that I'm talking to. I've had some great guests over the past, um, and we're going to have a lot more. And there's going to be people that you, maybe some celebrities or actors and actresses, producers, writers, all that stuff. But there's also a lot of the people that you know around here. I could have Copster on there. I could have Jeff Snyder, John Roca, Mark Riley, Roxy Stryer, whoever. And I'm going to find out more about them long form. And also go to Apple Podcasts and check out the one-on-one -on -one feed with Christian Harloff. And not only is my show on there, Mark Riley, the Riley Roundtable, which is another sit-down, long-form interview show. That's also there. And when Steve Frosty Weintraub talks to Kevin Smith or George Takei, that's going to be on that podcast feed also. So if you're taking a long drive and you like those long-form interviews, pop on the one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff. Give it a rate, comment, do all that because it helps the show and it makes podcast one go, hey, you know what? Those people should get ad money. Oh, hi guys, it's Perry here, and I am gonna tell you about The Witching Hour. It is the show that I host along with Collider.com's Haley Fouch. It is in podcast form on the Collider Factory feed, and we also have the video up and running every Tuesday for you right there on the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. We talk about everything horror. We're talking TV, movies, the newest releases. We talk about movies that are celebrating anniversaries. We've even talked about books. It's crazy. If it is scary, we are talking about it on The Witching Hour. We also have so many filmmaker interviews, really cool stuff. It's all coming your way every single Tuesday on The Witching Hour. Check it out. Collider Factory and the Collider Podcast YouTube channel. Ugh. Hey, Collider fans, John Roca here. Look that behind me. There it is, Collider Sports. That's right, that is happening right now. Uh, we started it a few couple of weeks ago, two or three weeks ago. We've had some great programming on there already. For those of you that have already watched, thanks so much. we got so much coming down the pike. We're talking about NFL. We're going to talk about NBA. There's plans about NHL. Golf is in the equation now. And, of course, the Premier League show with, that I host with Jack Hind, that's been in motion for the last couple of weeks. And then an MMA show is on the way from Dennis Zhang, me and Jay Williams as well. For You might know him from uh, the After Schmo show. What is, what is that thing called? Afterthoughts. Afterthoughts, that's it. The Afterthoughts show. All those things are happening here at Collider. And look, we want to hear from you, so we want you to listen. We want you to watch if you're a sports fan. Even if you're not a sports fan, we might entertain you, teach you something new about a sport that you may not have known much about or maybe so deep into it that you wanted to learn even more about it. We've got you covered. You can do that. Follow us on iTunes and on YouTube. You can there watch all the shows uh, or listen to all the shows that you want and then leave us comments and rate uh, the shows as well and review them. And then let us know what other sports you want us to cover. Look, we're not touching rugby. I'll just tell you that right now that's as far out as we'll go uh, or cricket but uh, maybe in the future if we go collider worldwide that's certainly a possibility but for right now collider sports 
is there for you. Take a look at it. Take a watch. And let us know what you think. Hey, guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about the Riley Roundtable. That's right. They gave Riley his own podcast. The Riley Roundtable is on its new home, and that is one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff on the iTunes feed for Podcast One. It drops every Thursday. The Riley Roundtable is a little bit about everything. It's about movies and life, life and movies and everything in between. I like to have non-special guests for discussions like Justice League versus Batman v Superman, for discussions about wine tasting, for discussions about UFOs, and everything in between. That's right. The Riley Roundtable drops on Thursdays on the one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff podcast feed and later on Collider Video's own podcast video network. So check it out every Thursday, the Riley Roundtable. See you there. I guess we're back here. It's Collider Live. It's Monday morning and a lot, lots been going down. Don't worry, you silly humps. We're going to be talking about the uh, Joker images. They're coming up a little later. Saw some guy in the Riley City. Saw some guy and goes, "Well, they're not talking about the Joker images. I'm out." And Riley just, you know, it's classy goods. And see you, dude. Mm. So um, that's it. Stick around. We're that's the show, guys. Hashtag that's the show. That's what we're going to be talking about today. We've got a lot of uh, things to cover because in this hour, I don't even know if we're going to get to it. We got Roxy Stryer here, and we have what? two special guests that for two uh, topics that we're excited to talk about here. And first, Mr. Ryan Satin from Pro Wrestling Sheet. How are you, my man? I'm doing great. Oh. Yeah, they're here. Yeah. Everybody's here. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm doing great. I'm tired. I went to oh, yeah. PWG's Battle of Los Angeles this weekend, which oh, yeah? is a tournament that goes on out here for indie wrestling every every year. Yeah. So it's three days of wrestling, lots of wrestling. So I didn't get to watch pay per view until this morning. So I literally finished the you last. Just finished it. Okay. I literally finished Hell in a Cell as I was running cool. into here. Well, we're going to cover that a little bit too. I wanted to talk. That's something I, I've wanted to do for a little bit. That we were going to talk about uh, some of the pay per views and, and things in general. That just ideas and thoughts about. I mean, again, again Ryan and, and Roca do, do have have a show. If you go to the podcast feed or or the YouTube channel. That we're not going to get super in depth with the with it. I just want to go like my from working there and being more of a casual fan, like kind of what I some of the positive things I see and some of the negative things I see as far as the way the business is going. And I wanted and to misses. get yeah, and I wanted to get I wanted to get Ryan's takes on it. So we're we're going to talk about that a little later. But we also have a very special guest, someone returning to the scene, hey, Mr. Yeah, yeah. RB3. What's up, RB3? How you doing? Thanks for having me, boss. Thanks for having it's me. It's good to have you too, man. Um, so one of the things that we were talking about last week. <laughs> Was that uh, you know we were talking? I don't remember who brought it up. We were talking about hip hop, and and we were talking about how you and I always used to kind of. Th I used to throw old school shit. You used, to, you used to throw a lot of a lot of older New York kind of hip hop at me. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. some of it you knew, and some yeah. of you're like, "What the fuck is that?" <laughs> Have you gone back and listened to any of that stuff? I did. Did, I did. you? Yeah, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Which and stuff? Which which one did you like? Was it Gra Grave Diggers? You had never heard of before. I had right? never heard of Grave Diggers. Was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of, so I heard nuts. I heard it like two songs after you had introduced me to the oh, okay cool. to the one to the one joint, and it was yeah. I'm real. I, I I dig it. I dig yeah. it. All right. Yeah. So 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 the reason I wanted because RB3 is uh, an expertise, uh, and what we were going to talk about here was that we last week. Or is it two weeks ago? I had seen when I was at Sundance. Flash forward about mm -hmm. two years ago, um, I did an interview with uh, Machine Gun Kelly, right? And it was it was for some movie, independent movie he was in. And I you know I just heard he was just kind of up and coming rapper. I didn't know anything about him, so I just remembered seeing him. And then I heard he's got this beef with Eminem, and Eminem's like my favorite rapper of all time. It's like, and I think he's still he's like. You know, he just did things that transcended hip hop. I feel that no no one had done before him. Um, and then I heard that they were feuding. I'm like, what, for, for real? And it kind, of, it kind of bounces back to this, and correct me if I'm wrong. What happened, I guess, in 2012, yeah. uh, Machine Gun Kelly, I guess, was 22 or at the time or whatever he was, and he said he said that Eminem's uh, daughter, daughter was attractive. Yeah, and yeah. she was like 16 or 17 at the time. And people, and, but then six years later, Eminem does a surprise album, yeah. drops this uh, thing. It says basically about keep my daughter's name out of your mouth. Yeah. So then our, uh, Machine Gun Kelly puts this whole video out, dissing Eminem, and it's like 80 million views later. And I heard this thing, and I gotta be honest, I thought he fucking roasted him. I thought he roasted him, and people, yeah. and it put him on the map, but everyone's like, well, now you're fucked, kid. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the track comes out, Eminem releases it, no video, but audio. Everyone's saying that Eminem won this battle. Everyone thinks that Eminem took out Machine Gun Kelly because the, I guess Machine Gun Kelly started his last one with, your beard is weird. And it's like, that's not that's not clever. <laughs> when you're <laughs> saying everyone, you mean like on the blogs, on Twitter? I, I was looking at the main saying. reaction I felt, 
do you feel that the that that most people are saying Eminem won this battle? I think it's uh, I think it's like sixty forty. I think okay. it's sixty forty Eminem. I think forty percent of people are just gonna hate anything that Eminem does anyway. Yeah. Um, Where I'm do not, you stand? I'm not the biggest fan of either, honestly. Okay. Like I like a lot of the early Eminem, and I, I really appreciate that stuff. Uh, I became an Eminem fan like around when he had like recovery, but I think everything he's made after that has been kind of awful. Okay. Um, that's what Machine Gun Kelly said yeah, you too. Should go back to yeah. Yeah, 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 I yeah. mean, I, I mean that, but I think that's the general consensus about Eminem, like in modern times, though, right. right? Like most of his stuff isn't that good. But for me, like I'm still gonna hand the win to MGK only you are? because okay. I think, like, who was he before this whole like? I didn't, I didn't know about him. Like, I follow rap pretty closely, but I didn't, I hadn't heard a single song from this guy. So. Right. Now he has a name. He has 80 million views on YouTube. And he put out a whole video. That <laughs> well, so and, I, yeah, well, and, and him and his friends beat the crap out of some actor. Do you see that? Oh, I see that. No. So there's an actor who, I guess, friend, I don't know if he's friends with MM or whatever it is. And he, and he approached MGK. And this is, I took TMZ. Uh, and, you don't know and, who, which actor? I forget the guy's name. Can you uh, pull it up, guys? Yeah, find out. Uh, yeah, just put just put actor gets beat up for Eminem diss or whatever it is. Um, so he, he goes up to Machine Gun Kelly and he says, you're a pussy. You're, that's the guy, the third one down, beats beats up Eminem fan over Disha. So, yeah. Um, so he, so basically, what happens? He calls him a pussy, and and Machine Gun Kelly goes, "Get the get the fuck out of here!" Right? Mm-hmm. And then it's and then he doing this whole story about what happened, and basically they they look, he beat the ass out of this guy, and uh, and his his buddies beat him up. So this is it's starting to get really real. And then at, at then he's performing. Yeah, that's it. He, yeah, can you turn it up? Yeah, turn that up. He, he, he go back, go back over. And them fans are crazy, man. Well, but I mean, so he's basically went, <laughs> he went he went after the guy because he said he's you know he's going after his daughter. But as far yeah. as the actual lyrics themselves, um, yeah. I just thought Machine Gun Kelly had the more clever, more lyrics. clever bars. That's yeah, what I, I think so. I think I think I think the points that Eminem made were better points. Because I think what Eminem said is is essentially what I'm saying, but I, t- I take it as a win for MGK. But for him, this is his his entire career is yes. in this moment. Yes. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, but for so I think Eminem pointing that out is very clever and like that's that's more direct. Yeah, I think um, it's the same way. Like it depends on what you classify uh, a win as. You know, if you're classifying yeah. a win as this being your moment where this is now. I mean, so many people have never heard of Machine Gun Kelly are right. now being exposed to him. So, in that sense, yeah, it is a win and. But when you compare the two songs, it's hard because they're both they're both they're pretty both catchy. Really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I think that, uh, in my opinion, and I am no rap expert whatsoever, but in just terms of uh, beef, uh, yeah. <laughs> in terms of beef, you know, I, when I look at the songs, I feel like Machine Gun Kelly made a better song. Like it's more catchy. It's it's something you'll want to re-listen to. Yeah. Um, but but Eminem roasted him yeah. lyrically. Yeah, I mean, you think he. So? He hit him pretty hard lyrically. Like, there's nothing in the song that really that MGK said that you're like, oh damn. Like, really? I completely I feel like he's re- disagree. Really? Where are you going? Yeah, with I it? completely disagree. And I'm I don't know what the fans say are saying that. too, Riley. I'm really happy to hear you say that because I fucking love Eminem and I have loved him forever. But I think that Machine Gun Kelly kicked the living crap out of him because what Eminem was saying were pretty basic, like you should suck my dick kind of. Lines and you, he could have been talking about pretty much anybody for ninety percent of it. Is he better at insulting people? Yeah, he's had a lot more practice. But I feel like Machine Gun Kelly's hit like really close to home for Eminem. And always, you got to remember that number one shouldn't give a shit about number two. Number one should yeah, never care that, about well, that's number why, two. That's why I have MGK the and num- yeah. This isn't even number one caring about number two. This is number one caring about number two hundred well, million and yes. five. But here's here's the here's a counter to that though. Number one has to defend the title, though. Well, yeah, that's, see, that's, I always that's, disagree with this whole that, number yeah, one should never talk about be, number two thing. I, I think it's stu- that's a very weird because opinion. If, because here's the problem, though. Because the thing is, it's one thing if someone comes out and just puts out a little thing. Eminem's a turd, and like one thousand people see it, right? Right, one thousand people see it. Then why, why are you paying attention? Eighty million people watch this, and you don't have a retort. You've got to make. It makes him look like a bitch should... if you're not going to say. Well, anything. Well, but he yeah, yeah. But RB three, what do you think? No, I mean, I, no, Machine Gun Kelly started it when he talked about. 2012. Yeah, but he wanted Wait, to so hold on, guys. I want to hear RB3 for a second. But, you know, it, it, 
I, I, I agree I agree with you, Roxy. Like I think MGK really got into what Eminem's felt insecure about this entire time. So I think it, it hit Eminem harder. That's why it felt like he had to respond. Yeah. And, and I do agree with that because Eminem does seem the most gotten to out of all right. this. Like yeah. Machine Gun Kelly's walking whole... around just not caring about it. He yeah. knows that this is moment, this is where he's gonna shine, similar yeah. to how Eminem did in the past with other yeah. celebrity not, not, not Eminem's going around on interviews, he's talking to everybody, oh, you know, like nice explaining the beef. So I feel like he he and and you know, I think what MGK said is essentially what the fans have been saying for the for for a long time, you know. Yeah. So I think it really got to Eminem. I think also, uh, but that was the video also, component. So who's, who's cool. that? Cops? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, yeah. you also add in the fact that. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly went out of his way to shoot a video. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot more effort into it. People are going to be a lot more attracted. Because when you watch a video as opposed to just listening a song, at least for me, I, it, it kind of gets me into the song a little bit more because you can see the people or the, or the person singing the yeah, song or rapping the song. Well, whereas Dor Eminem just put out just the song itself. Yeah, well, Dorian, well, if, Dorian, the if Dorian's listening, Dorian, I'm pretty sure he is. Dorian, could put a poll out on the Collider video yeah, Twitter Dorian. and ask them who they think won. Because here's the I'll reason. Retweet that so too. here's the question, though. Here's the question that I have for you, RB3. Mm -hmm. So what I feel is very similar. Let's look, at, let's look at the fight that happened this past weekend with Triple G and Canola, right? Yeah. Because of the reputation, again, Canola has, mm -hmm. and because he's part of Oscar De La Hoya's promotion and everything, too, does he, he might get a leg up, you would think, in the, in the scorecards. Right. Does Eminem get a, get, get a leg up with everybody? Because... He's Eminem. He's like he. The fact is like because I I have a friend, my friend Shauna back in in Queens. She right away is like, oh, Eminem killed him, destroyed him. He had the other guy had nothing to say. I'm like, yes, he had nothing to say. Yeah, the beard is weird. Line was terrible. Yeah, and I started out with that. It was terrible. But like, right. he really kind of cuts in. I thought and mo maneuvers in and out. Talking uh, about his idols and talking about like how he yes. does respect them. But does he get does does Eminem get the leg up because he's Eminem? Uh, I think I think coming into this situation, um, MGK was the underdog. Um, I think after the diss track, Eminem became the underdog, and Eminem's not used to being the underdog. Yeah. So I think that's why he felt compelled to respond to get himself back on top. Is this thing you know over I mean? now? Or are they going to keep going at each uh, other? I think it's over. I yeah. mean, maybe MGK he's going to keep shining, shine light on the moment. I mean. These days, beefs really only last like two songs. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like, we had Pusha T and Drake happened earlier in the year, which is also an amazing beef. And they and they good um, now. It just it just died after yeah. like two songs. This um, one's big. This one's yeah. this one's really big. This one's I think catching. It's pretty a, talented too, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was kind of exciting to see. But uh, yeah, right. me too. I'm the same way actually because I've only I you know Machine Gun Kelly did a thing in wrestling once. So oh, I was, he did. I, and, okay. and he's he's you know he's friendly with uh, Jamie Ivey, who's on my who co-hosts oh, my okay. show. And I so I'm aware of Machine Gun Kelly, but this is really the first time I had actually like, listened to one of his was. songs. Yeah, because yeah, I. I, Me too. I always kind of laughed at him because he was on that episode of Catfish once, and he was like, oh, okay. the, so like it always. Have you ever seen that episode of Catfish? Uh, I didn't see it. Oh, no. it's the best because there's one scene where he's like mad at the catfish, and he chases him down the street like, it's Father's Day, and I could have been with my daughter, and I'm dealing with you, and he's like yelling. It's the, one of my favorite Catfish uh, episodes uh, ever. Really? Uh, Riley, what do they say in the chat room? Uh, yeah, a lot of people are. I see a theme here. They didn't know who Machine Gun Kelly was right. until Eminem got in. Eminem definitely had the better disses, but yeah, I just heard uh, who who Machine Gun Kelly is now for the first time. Uh, M said he was way bigger at his age, using his name for clickbait. Yeah, that's and true. And that, uh, that Machine Gun true. made yeah. that some talking shit about a uh, a rap god, which of course is all about M. Uh, yeah. Aliens are probably laughing at us. Is uh, one of the comments. That's, good. That's true. That's because of this, uh, yeah. some of this nonsense. Yeah. Eminem's wordplay was much smarter than uh, Machine Gun Kelly, uh, yeah. but MG, uh, MG, MGK will be forgotten in a few months. I, he I might mean, be. That, I'm that not very well might be. Who knows? That, yeah. Look, I want to tell you also. I mean, I, to, I will. I, I'm going to highly doubt that I'm going to become a Machine Gun Kelly fan. Um, I will tell you that I, I am still an Eminem fan. I still listen and wait to hear what his new songs are because, like RB3, I'm hoping that he gets back to what he used to do. Yeah. Um, you know, there are certain things that he that he comes What's out. What's your with. favorite? Like, what do you love that he's? You know, done? what's funny. Um, there was a song that he did that they played in Entourage. That it's actually from one of his recent albums, um, and it's um, oh man, the I can't. I can't it's, it was. Is it Spacebound? No. Um, Going it's 25 in. to life. No, it's it was basically it was an Ozzy Osbourne track. Um, oh, track. going through changes. Going through changes. Changes. Uh, his changes. Yeah, that's yeah, I, yeah I think it's changes. Yeah. Changes is a fantastic song. Changes is fantastic, I'm and sure it, it was really and it was one. And what I liked about him was that he was he's just so f honest, and he'll go in and out of his personal life, and it, the way that he really kind of um, that song. At the time, I was going through some shit too, so like it, it kind of spoke to me. So, uh, I I look forward to his stuff, but I just think if you're looking at a fight and you're a judge in the fight, 
I just think this kid hit more power shots. Me too. Yeah. And, and I think this, it really should speak to the fact that Eminem has had a 20-year career, never responded to a single rapper in his entire career. Really? Never? never? No, that's never. not true. Everlast. He had that, a, oh, he, oh, I do remember, remember that. that. Yeah. Yeah. That just took me yeah. back. Yeah. He, he did. Yeah. Yeah. So him and Everlast had a thing. So Ever, but that's not a rapper. Everlast was, Everlast was a rapper. House of Pain? You said who's really? that? Oh. Yeah. Is that like a, is that a How old are you? Everlast? House, yeah, I don't know who that is. How old are you? From House of Pain. House of Pain. You don't know House of Pain? Jump around, House of Pain? No, I don't know. I don't Get the know. fuck I, out of here. I just don't think of it as... Is that old school hip hop? You're, you're right. That's crazy. crazy. Right. I'm, I'm 21. Are you, okay. Are you, are you legit? I you don't know this song? No this song you don't know this song? Does this count? I song. Okay, all right. Do so they count as Listen, like rap rap? Yes. Yeah, of course really? it does. He, like, yeah. he was I the one. Yeah, I guess. I just never considered. He was rap. No, but Everlast. I mean, it's like pop. <laughs> but dude, Everlast. When he a lot, like put on the put on the um, the Everlast. Well, actually, you know what? Don't put that out. I forgot because you know, Eminem really goes heavy on it. But, <laughs> but like Eminem and Everlast, they went they went in on it. No, yeah. I remember all they're, that. They're cool now, but they went in on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But um, I, anyway, so that was something I wanted to talk about. RV3, stick around for a little bit because I want to talk to you about these Joker stuff and everything too. But did have Ryan on the table. And so just to let everybody know what we're going to do. We're gonna, we're right now, we're going to – last night was the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view that we're going to talk about for a little bit because I want to talk about some of the stuff going on in wrestling, the business in general. And I'm going to talk to Ryan about that. Afterwards, we're going to talk about the Joker images, and I want to talk about who we think the best Jokers of all time were and if Joaquin Phoenix could fit into that after this. so oh, That's a tough question. It's a tough one. So, <laughs> like, the easiest question of life. Well, last night, last night, Hell in a Cell goes down, right? And I, so, I, and like, to let everybody know, I'm, 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 I used to be a hardcore fan. I became a writer. I stopped watching. Schmodown comes around and I get back into it to, to watch it. WWE Network, I think, is the most brilliant model of all time. Um, and I watch a lot of the pay-per-views now. I skim through Raw and SmackDown to kind of keep myself up on what's going down. Well, when you have the network, you might as well watch the pay-per-view because yeah. it comes with it. So it it's like, yeah, it. it's, it's not 50 and, bucks anymore. Yeah, and it's fun. And they're, they're fun to watch. And I, and I actually, it's, it, it does the stuff that I feel that WWE is missing. And it's the matches. The, the overall matches, the the like to putting in the work to showing really, it only happens on the pay-per-views now because I think that Raw and SmackDown have turned into action cartoons now. Um, it, I was I was starting to really get into it again. And it's, it's like, I feel, I just don't feel Stephanie McMahon is... is if, she, if she's really the head of creative for WWE, she's not a head of creative. Who's doing it over there? And the head of creative is still Vince. No, he's one hundred percent the head of creative. You know better than I do. Hundred thousand percent right. the head of creative. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Because Triple H, what he's doing over at NXT, that reminds me of old school wrestling. Yeah. That to me reminds me of stuff that they used to do. That I think that they should take a page from him and keep doing that. Yes. But I don't think Stephanie's involved in the creative process at all anymore. I really? think she's just part of like the you know the other side okay. of things, like the business side of things, like the the outreach stuff. So the it's all Vince stuff. running stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Vince. I thought he took a step down. Robot, dude. All right. Um, so this thing last night for the the matches that I saw. I dug. The story stuff, I did not. Um, <laughs> the stuff, as far as matches went, I thought the matches were good. So we And it's going to be spoilers for you guys if you haven't seen it. So Becky Lynch wound up taking the championship from uh, from Charlotte Flair. One of the best matches I thought so far. I don't care about what people are saying about the ending. For me, what I thought was good about that match was that um, Charlotte, that Becky Lynch, they turned her heel. I thought she was so goofy as a face. And I thought she was, it was so dopey to watch her. Like, and now they turned her into this heel, and I think she's got her personality. She's got a chip on her shoulder, and I think she's going to go over more. Let her keep the title, though. Oh, absolutely. I, You know, when the Becky Lynch heel turn first started to take shape, people gave me so much shit because I talked about how I enjoyed it, and I thought that it was going to breathe, breathe new life into her character, and, and it 100% has, and it's got her back to the title picture, and now she's champion again, which I'm right. stoked about. I love this new version of Becky Lynch. Uh, and their match last night was awesome. I think if it had been two faces going at it, um, the the whole friend thing. I don't think it wouldn't would have been as interesting, but right. the fact that they were now like hated each other and there was actual animosity it between the two. It. It's so much. So what so. I try to tell people with the schmodown is that when I have two people who love each other, the views go down. When I have, t- I'm <laughs> telling you, when it's two people like, oh, we love each other. It's like oh, cool, but talk some shit and that's what like I've tried to tell people that that's the whole reason like Andrew Guy is so big right now he's the best yeah so but anyway so that that she takes the title now one of the reasons I say I want her to hold the title because one of the things that I loved so much as a kid was when those, you get those dominant champions and once you hold on to the belt it means more for the championship and the stake of it and I think that's what they've done so brilliantly with AJ Styles like they he keeps holding on to that championship and when you think he's gonna lose he's been in all of these great feuds and then when he holds on to it, it brings more legitimacy to that championship. They just give away titles too easy now. It's one of the big things. And I like that they're giving him the championship. Who's going to beat him? AJ? Yeah. 
That's a tough one. Yeah. Wait, before we switch to that, sure. Because I I think it's gonna be Miz who beats him for the title. I think wow. it's gonna be Miz, and we're wow. gonna lead to Daniel Bryan winning the Royal Rumble. Yeah. And I it'll fast, be Daniel Bryan versus the Miz. Fast forward the whole uh, Daniel Bryan. Did you? Man, yeah, I was bored with it. <laughs> I don't care about those two anymore. Um, but uh, the Becky Lynch thing, I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. I think that they to help solidify her and and make her a serious threat, they need to make her one for real. Have her win matches, competitive yeah. matches, uh, decisively, like she did last night. Even though she's a heel, she. Didn't didn't cheat to win the title or anything like that. She she won it in a fair way. Um, yeah, so I so I, I completely agree with you. And I also think that with uh, with Becky, I think I have a feeling. I don't know this. This isn't any in, any inside insider like that. But it feels like we're gonna get Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey at WrestleMania Should this we get, year. We switch her over to Raw. No, I think because I think mm, I think Charlotte maybe, but I think Charlotte will win. The women's Royal Rumble since this will be the first time uh, she's in it, uh, and then I she'll see. challenge I see. Ronda okay. Rousey. Makes but sense. um. If they're gonna go that way, they can't have Charlotte versus uh, Charlotte versus Ronda Rousey at Survivor Series because they do the champion versus champion thing a lot right, of times right, there. Right, right. Uh, so I feel like it only makes sense that, that way we can get Becky Lynch versus Ronda Rousey too. Right. That'd be a dope match. I think a lot of that stuff would happen because they need to do that. They need to give Ronda Rousey more stuff too. I saw Ronda Rousey last night uh, fought, and I think it was, she looked good. I felt one of my things that I was always watching. I always said this. I always said this that I was always worried she was whipping people around, um, and like it, she looked like she was being a little. Nicer last she night. She did. I agree with you. <laughs> she looked. She was being a little nicer, a little gentler with with them. But um, I thought the match was good. I thought Alexa Bliss is the best one of the best performers that they have. And I thought it was a. I thought it was a good match. And and it ended. It ended fine. And I think the in, injured ribs thing was was cool. That's how you got to explain how she's able to put up the fight. Yeah, it was. Do you it think was that nice to, yeah. Ronda's acting chops are getting any better? When it comes to in ring stuff, one hundred percent. No, no, I never had a problem with her in ring stuff. Her in ring stuff works. It's like she still, you know, there was this really silly moment though last night. So uh, Alexa, I loved this part. So Alexa, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, oh, so yeah. So Alexa Bliss has her, and she's and she's over. And she's like, I got you now, Ronda. And Ronda stands up, and Ronda looks at her and goes, Arr! and like grills in her face. And I was like, that is stupid. You liked it? I only liked it because she like went, it was so stupid. and then she like grabbed her and power bombed her, yeah. and I was like, Whoa, that was cool. Ronda's power bombing yeah. people now. So like, I. I liked it because it added like a wrinkle in her character. Yeah. It's similar to like when Hulk Hogan Hulk, hulks up. It yeah. was. I like, like that. that she's kind of got like her own little Ronda Rousey Hulk up moment thing. That so she's... you think it's going to be consistent? And she's going to do yeah, that. She's kind of been doing that a lot. Not not so much the <laughs> like last night, but she's she's had <laughs> this thing where she, where she like gets up and kind of like does a Hulk out moment and then starts to like yeah. beat her chest like she's cracking herself in her own ribs. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I like so it. Made, I'm into it. The last thing I want to talk about though with this with is that the majority of the stuff I found w- was was fine. The end, you know, you can have this conversation over and over and over again about Roman Reigns, you know, that he shouldn't be champion. He's, they're over pushing him. They're doing this, they're doing that. And he's got this fight with Braun Strowman, and they're having, and Braun Strowman's got to work on his uh, telegraphing of, now I'm going to throw you into the wall. You can, you can, <laughs> you can hear him. You can basically see him. And now I want to make sure you reverse it. You can hear him. It's like, <laughs> stop. He's it's a like big he's, man. It's probably he, hard to mask but, that voice. But, no, but it's not even you hear. You can see him talking. It's <laughs> yeah. like, dude, come on. Um, but anyway, so the, the match is happening. At <laughs> the end, the Hell in the Cell is this big thing. Mick Foley celebrating the 20-year anniversary. He's yeah. the referee of it, um, and they're in the they're in this thing. They're having this I fight. I interviewed him, uh, Mick Foley. Mm-hmm. So here's the here's this fight, and now the, the 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 members of the Shield come out, and then Ziggler and his buddy come out, and they're fighting on top of the cage, and it's all cool, it's crazy. Then the stupidest moment of the whole night happens. Uh, Seth Rollins, who I love, I think he's a good wrestler. He's back and forth with, with Ziggler, and they're fighting each other. And they look down at the in the back, and they go, "Okay, we're about to fall off the thing now. And we're going to telegraph this to make sure, let everyone know that this is basically telegraphed and make it not look organic." Now, ready? Punch each other! Punch each other! Now, jump! Wee! And they fall, and they, and they go into the table, and it takes away the impact of holy shit because it looked so staged. And like, obviously, well, that's what wrestling is, yeah. But doesn't it, it's like Mick Foley didn't look it. No, they threw that motherfucker off by the seat of his pants. He went flying off the stage. Even Shane's elbow through it yes. didn't look like fake. The Kevin you know? Owens stuff like, yeah. that, Shane, that no. Shane did recently. This one looked bad. I'm yeah. with you. And there's been a lot of that. They've done that spot many a time like with cage matches yes. and Hell in a Cells or whatever. And and it, I don't love it, but this one was one of the worst. I, I And Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins are both really good wrestlers. But yeah. you're right. To me, it, was, it had the it, same vibe Telegraph to it. Cheesy, and the last thing, though, then they have Brock Lesnar who shows up. And I don't have a problem with him beating the shit out of the, both these guys. He shows up. They tell you he's not getting a title shot. Ever, and they beat the crap. He beats the crap out of both these guys. And then they call it a, a no contest. Yeah. It's like it's in a cage. Anything can happen. Not even Let a them cage. fight. It's a hell in a cell match where yes. literally everything is supposed to be like uh, on the table. Like everything right. goes. There's no, no holds barred. Right. Like there's literally not, a, a, a no contest makes absolutely no sense in a hell in a cell bad match. Bad writing. Yeah. Oh, bad writing. Very bad writing. And Okay. 
I will say this though. I I enjoyed all the Brock stuff. But I just didn't enjoy the no contest. Like, if it had just been ended and then Roman put his arm over Braun and they had, like, and he'd pinned him and it ended like that, I think I would have felt a little bit better yeah. with it. But, but yeah, ending in a no contest, a Hell in a Cell match just didn't make any sense. Also, did Mick Foley factor into that match really, at all? At like, all. What, I get they were hyping his special that was after the, the pay per view, but like. But so they should have incorporated him a little bit more. But, so, some but, way, shape, or form. But anyway, so I wanted to thank you to come in for coming in and talk about the Hell in a Cell. So Ryan and John Roca will be breaking this down um, in depth. Horse! Right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do a full breakdown. Oh, you're not gonna no, do a recap well, I, I didn't okay. schedule one, so I don't know if there's time. Okay. I, I was doing the bola stuff, so but I really be, have to get back to the website. You'll be talking about referencing it in your other shows too. Oh yeah, no, we're so, gonna talk about all these things on yeah. the Raw recap that we do. The, we do Raw and SmackDown recaps every uh, every week on the YouTube channel for Wrestling Sheet. It's YouTube.com/slash/c/slash/Wrestling Sheet. Yes. Uh, we also got the Wrestling Sheet Radio every week, where we break down the top stories of the week. Uh, we've got a Wrestling Sheet Radio feed that you can find on Podcast One and the iTunes where uh, we've got a bunch of other shows as well there's Best of the Rest talks about all the indie wrestling that's going on um, there's also Top 5 with Kevin and James a bunch of stuff so go check out all the different well, audio and video feeds well thank you for joining us here too Ryan I'm going to have you back on the table over here too so we can talk about this Joker stuff but Ryan thank you for joining us my man and then check the check them out because they really go in depth and it's it's if you're a wrestling fan Thanks, it's, it's worth checking out so we're going to try to do that for the for the big pay-per-views but alright he's so, always smiling except when people are calling him garbage people well yeah I mean well <laughs> I, 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 I he was in the right for garbage it. people. I'm it wasn't me. I'm a garbage person because I, I enjoy. I, I actually really enjoyed watching that pay per view last night. I just didn't like the storylines. So I think they could be. I want them to go back to the sports element. I want them to go back to what they used to do sports wise with the announcing and the way that they used to do it. And there's just so much that needs to be worked on there. But I'm still I'm still entertained by it. I thought the Rousey stuff was good. Um, all right, let's move on here so the the fans can can shut it. And we have uh, <laughs> we're, we're talking about the, the Joker images. So thank you, everything. Uh, by the way, um, breaking news that yeah. they did. Finally, cast Thomas uh, Wayne. It's uh, Brett Cullen is taking over uh, Alec shit. Uh, Baldwin. Really? Yeah. Shit. Uh, Brett Cullen. I don't know. Brett Cullen. Yeah. Uh, bring here. up Brett Cullen. Can you back pull him up? Let me see. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. yeah, yeah I'll like bring him up, Roxy. I like that. Guy. Oh, oh. Yeah, uh, like yeah, he was in Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. As a congressman. And uh, oh, was he really? No, interesting. Uh, Thomas Wayne. Look at that. Yeah. So All right. That so just came Brett out. Cullen. Cullen or Cullen? No, I Cullen. Said Cullen. Cullen. Oh, like Edward Cullen. No, no, Brett Cullen. Brett yeah. Cullen, yes, like Edward Cullen. Yeah, okay. I got to oh, roll that guy's C-U-L-L-E-N. Uh, yeah, there he is. Oh, yeah, he yeah. kind of looks like Chris Cooper. Be. Yeah, he does. He's 62. Oh, he's a, What's he's... the TV show he's on recently? Oh, he was the Call Me guy, huh? <laughs> no, no, the IMDb. <laughs> no. No, not there the picture. Sure that's his IMDb. IMDb. <laughs> Go to all. IMDb. Okay, okay, okay. Why, why? But I love you guys. No, okay. you why are you so mad? brave. Why are you mad at them? I'm not really mad at them. I'm mad at Alex. Oh, RB3, I have another beef war for you. Who won the beef war? Because we didn't talk about this before. Narcos. Was it Narcos? No, I don't think it was. Was it Roxy or Dagnino? Oh, oh, he was in Narcos. Yeah. Okay. I give Roxy, I, I'm giving Roxy. Roxy. Now. Roxy, because Tom apologized, right? Tom did apologize. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I won? give it to Roxy. He, he, yeah. won. Yeah. he won the beef battle with you and Tom. Yeah. Okay, congratulations. Who had bigger beef? Uh, Heart. Cadet Gun Kelly? Machine Cadet Gun Kelly? Gun Kelly? Yes. Yes. Cadet Gun Kelly? Cadet Gun Kelly? I Cadet am Cadet calling Kelly. Brian Ward yes. or whoever. That's your photo. What does the Cadet wall. Gun Kelly? Yes, you know what? Cadet that, Kelly with that, Roxy. Yes, Roxy is Cadet. You don't remember him? That's it. You are, you are now. That is the picture. Brian Ward, Cadet Gun Kelly with Roxy's face on it. Yes. That's please. how it happens. Yeah, and you know what? You get the old that? Don Mattingly Hitman poster. You ever see that one? No one knows what I'm talking about. Buying it with a Hillary Duff one. You ever saw Cadet Kelly? All right, let's get into this thing now. So this picture Great comes movie. out. Show me the picture. Um, show me Picture's the picture. coming picture. up. Yeah. Which picture? The, I'm sorry. Uh, the Joker. Oh, okay, okay. The first one, the official one yeah. that Phillips So here released. it is. Here's, here's the picture that, that comes out and, you know, it, it again sets the... Oh, Todd uh, Phillips tweeted it? I thought, I thought Joaquin released it. It was Phillips? No, it was Phillips. Oh. Phillips yeah. released yeah. Phillips. Yeah. 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 it. Put like it on that. Instagram. Like it was that. Phillips. I, it says this, Arthur. This is Arthur. So, mm-hmm. Riley, tell me tell me everything we know besides just this image. Is there, So what, what are people talking about? What is Arthur? Like, what's what's the what's the origin? What's the original name of the character? Because tell me the difference between Jack Napier and and Arthur and, and and all these fucking people. Yeah, well, I it depends on your origin. I mean, who's more of a Joker guy? Are you a Joker guy? Um, RB3, do not, you know some of the... I like mean, the, I, I know the killing <laughs> joke. Arthur Fleck is yes. the name that, uh, if we go to Collider.com, yeah. pop that into the anagram maker internet, you know, see what maybe comes out. I don't know, okay. if, you know if there's an anagram out there. Uh, Fleck. Joe Glass a Fleck. was, a, was a, a name that I remember as an origin. Okay. Napier, obviously Nicholson. Joe, Joe Glass is the guy who shot the. the Joe Glass, lines. sorry, that's I mixed up. Yeah, uh, yeah because yeah. they made I forgot. Burton then, made it. 
Yeah, to Joker. Joe, Joe, Joe Chill. Joe Chill. Joe Chill. Joe Chill. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. So, 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 it doesn't really, so no one really names. knows. Um, so <laughs> the point. The yeah. point no, is that's that that's all pretty accurate. After yeah. 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 You know, it's a Monday. What do you know about it? Uh, well, I know I know about what this probably means for his story, yeah. but yeah. it wasn't anything new. It was all things that we had heard about him being. Uh, wanting to be a comedian, him going through that, yeah. and him taking it too far, essentially, after rejection, after rejection, so it's right. like becoming king, the it's Joker. It's like King of Comedy, basically, but exactly. for the Joker, right? right. That's, that's exactly. what the Killing Joke, the original comic book, is that uh, that is kind of the official Joker origin story. Yeah. It's all about him wanting to be a comedian, mm-hmm. uh, but his wife, uh, his wife ends up dying and, and he takes a bunch of shady money from gangsters. It's, it's that kind of story. Right. And, and they said they're not corruption. going with that story. But they're not going with that one. Because but, What's going on know. with the mics? Is this something? Is it cops or is that uh, a, some interference or something? Is it interference? Yeah, there's interference. I think it's aliens. Hold on, I'm trying cool. to figure it out. Yeah. All right. It's fine. <laughs> there's some uh, on-set photos as well from TMZ where uh, he what's was filming. That? So he's, what's it yeah. look like? Uh, yeah, we we pull it up. the clown. Bring up the TMZ photos. Yeah, I put that link in there as well. Yeah, they're in there. Okay, so let's let's... I like this approach. It reminds me it's more it's more Heath Ledger based than I, I, Jared Little did fine. I just it, yeah. it was too it was yeah. too ridiculous. Well, it's totally me. different than either of them, which is it, good. Yes, but yeah. it, but it's more in the vein. Like you see that like that picture. That's more in the vein of, of like the that looks like it's about to get where we got with where Heath Ledger. Where he would become. Yes, like like that's but, that's what you want from Joaquin Phoenix. You want he looks really creepy. Can you show the one with the clown guys? It, yeah, there's is there an actual. Yeah, yeah there's the one where he's like, oh, yeah. with the clown. I see that guy. He's like throwing his red nose. Yeah. I think he is so perfect for this role. Oh yeah, so perfect. And I am, and I know that some people have a problem with that. It doesn't connect to the overall DCEU, and that they need to get their their shit together World's there first. Of DC. I'm going to go the other way with it. I think that, you know, you should really, like, who says you need to have a shared universe? Just make good movies. Because look what yeah. they did with the, with the Nolan trilogy. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that they could, that you just make this a standalone Joker movie. It is what it is. It's just a stick behind a standalone comic. When you look at the talent behind this, there, there's a reason why Joaquin Phoenix said no to Doctor Strange and yes to this. Yeah. I'm because ex- he's excited about the Dr. part. Strange and you yeah. want that. Uh, Ooh, you it, really? Wow. Oh, I'm going to disagree with you. I like, I like that movie a lot. Why? Really? Why do you hate it so Worst much? Worst character in the MCU. You. Here's just, a dong take. There's uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a dong take. You're right, Makuga. What, what the hell does it matter? Did it make you feel anything at your core? No. Wow. Yeah. I like Dr. Change. Yeah. I do too. Yeah, I do too. Um, I'm, the, I'm the only person I know who didn't like it. All right, well, yeah. let's do it. We'll do, we're going to do an episode. Whatever. We're doing an ep- episode of overrated Marvel movies. Oh, which that's will, the most. There won't be one dislike on that whole video. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's Scorsese. Scur- 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 excuse me. Scorsese is producing this Joker it, film. Too, it's right? actually Scorsese's partner who's producing yeah. this. Uh, Scorsese never Scorsese. signed on yeah. officially. Oh, he's not it's it's his. Oh, there's video. There's video. Girl that runs it with him is. Yeah. This is exactly the stills that yeah. I saw oh, from that cool. video. Yeah, I'm, listen, man, I am pumped for this movie. I really am. I'm pumped for. He's one of my favorite actors. I think that he he connects and gets to a place that you just don't. That most actors just can't do. Yeah, one of the best performances I've ever seen him do, um, and best scene was in um, what's the uh, the the one with the master. Yes, thank you. I don't Great know, movie. I don't know how the hell how you got you that. How did you pull that out of that? Because it's intense scene. Yeah. You know, do you know what scene I'm talking about? Philip Seymour Hoffman and him, like uh, the Scientology. It's great scene, but no, the scene that, the scene to me is <laughs> a great scene. Awesome. The scene to me that shows how good this dude is is when he gets into that fight in the department store. Oh, with that guy, the taking the photo. Yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. That that scene is some of the best acting I've ever seen. That I would love to talk to the actor that he's doing. That actor must have been so pissed off inside of that scene to legit get to where he was supposed to get. See if you can find that scene. And, and that's bring, like one take, right? It was all like a long take. tracking shot. It is shot. some of the best acting. Have you ever seen this? T- yeah. This? Oh, God, it's so good. Tom um, I can't think of the scene that you're talking. It's, he puts remember. the light in his face like closer and closer when yeah. he's taking a photo yeah, 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 of him. Yeah, yeah, That's it. That's this it. One, that's yeah. it. Yeah, bring the scene up. Yeah. Just, this just is, turn up. Oh, I remember this. It's one. so good. You can turn it up. Or is it working? It is okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Go full screen, please. Full screen. Thank you. Full Appreciate it. Is it for your wife. Pardon? Is it for your wife. Uh, yeah. Yes. Just, you can see this is the kind of what he's gonna do. He's gonna have to bring some of this out of himself again for the Joker because this is, this is a similar yes. type of character. Yeah. Very and if he can do this kind of shit, and you know he can. For the Joker, I'm, this will be the next Tim conversation. He's just so dialed in. Yes, yeah. just look at every him. time. He's, he's an alcoholic he, in this movie. right? He's an alcoholic, and he's so he is so done with all of this. He's done <laughs> with people. He's done with it, and, and and now he's just he, he, yeah. He's done with society. Like this is 
but incredible. But the line. difference is it's all for the laughs with the Joker. Right. Yeah. This scene's funny though. This scene is funny, but 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 he's but he's not doing. He's not it to trying be funny. to be funny. He's trying. Yeah. Yeah. He's because he's like, he, yeah. He's, I mean, he goes for. It. I think the guy like actually punches him or something too. Whatever it is, he's bleeding at the end of it. And it was like I read it was like legit bl- blood. He's yeah, walking. Yeah, yeah, watch. This is like it's like a prank that you see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. I would love. Love, love to interview this guy sitting on this the chair. Oh, yeah. Let's find him, Internet. I, we have to find who he is. Because I would love to talk about this scene, break the scene I'm down. starting to sweat. He's pushing it into his up. head. Please <laughs> shut up, he tells him. You need to move the gun. <laughs> here he goes. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Great push. And here we go. Back off. Sit down. I'm very sorry. I'm trying to get the landing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, choking him out. <laughs> look, 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 see, he really whacked him, dude. He, look, yeah, they were, like he's really scrapping him. They're scrapping him for real, like for real. They are scrapping. He is, they, like legit. <laughs> like I. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, this is the most insane yeah, this scene. Is amazing. <laughs> ah, so good. So good. Yeah, I, I'm so glad he's playing the Joker. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's fantastic. It. So good. If you haven't seen that scene again, watch it and do yourselves a favor. Treat yourself. Is he one of those method actor kind of guys? Or? I think he is. I think he is. Oh, but mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause he did that documentary. That documentary yeah. with uh, oh, Casey. Right, right, yeah, 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 right, he is. right, right. Um, so my question to you guys on the table here, too, and for the fans as well, you can hashtag Colorado Live and everybody else will read it. Um, <laughs> do you think, because... We all agree Heath Ledger's the best Joker of all time, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. With Jack Nicholson at, at a two? Yeah. Mark Hamill. Yeah. Yeah. Mark Hamill. I, I Mark would Hamill probably give it to Hamill. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll go, probably give it to I'll Hamill I'll go ahead and agree well. with you. Yeah, I'll yeah. agree with I'm you. There. Mark Hamill at number two. Jack Jack Nicholson at three? Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. I'm going to put Cesar Romero at four. Wow. Over Jared Leto? Yeah. Yeah, Jared Leto's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cesar Romero. I don't think that's fair, though, because Why? what we saw of Jared Leto. Like a turd. It's but, not. But that's but that's the that's what we're working with right now. So he can he, he has room to change your mind but if we yeah. ever get another Joker. Cesar movie Romero for what he was inside of that show was a fantastic Joker. He was great. I mean, it yeah. might not be the the kind of campy stuff that you want. Yeah. But he did. The I role. would give it to I would give it to Cesar as well. But I think that Jared Leto got a uh, poor stick. That might be it. But that's but that's what's what, a poor stick. Stick. Poor, poor run. Poor, poor run. We well, got what you're saying. Well, I was thinking like he, short straw. Short straw. <laughs> you, got the, you got there got eventually. Poor stick. Yeah. Well, that I poor stick. I got my fingers stuck in this hole. Uh, uh, and, <laughs> and so does Jared Leto. Oh! And that's the problem. Uh, is that that yeah. that movie, He just that's all he had. So right now, he's, he's on the bottom. I think Joaquin Phoenix has a chance to skyrocket to number two. Number two. Do you, you think, think anybody you could ever go to He's one? Ledger? No. Nobody will, I don't think, no, ever but, beat him. Because here's the, here's the thing. Heath Ledger, everyone was rooting against him. He's also the guy that people always use. Like, well, that's what everyone said about Heath Ledger. Yeah. And it's true. Everyone did say it about Heath Ledger. When you, The guy from uh, from Knight's Tale is going to yeah. be the Joker. No one's saying that about Joaquin Phoenix. Everyone's saying, well, it's Joaquin Phoenix. So he has got a chance to crush it. And also, he it yeah. goes down as his, like... Because of what happened afterwards, it's like the biggest performance in all of history. Ever. So I don't yeah. know if anybody could also ever the only comic book movie to win like an acting Oscar. Too, right. Yeah. So. yeah. Right. Yeah. He's yeah. The, he. No one's well touching. No one's touching him. And yeah. and, 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 I, and I'm not just saying it because it's like, well, they're never going to give it to him because he passed away. And and no, he was that good. Well, he if was, it ends up like Jared Leto, though. Yeah. I don't think it will. I, I don't think Todd Phillips is going to direct that kind of movie. And I think that the difference he, is, here's the difference with the disc type of movie, the standalone movie, and the DCEU. I think that there are too many cooks in the kitchen for, with the executives for the DCEU. Yep. I think for the standalones, they go, well, it's just to let them do it. It's Todd Phillips, so get the hell out of my way. I thought that the movie that he did, War Dogs, was a Amazing. Pretty, it's a pretty Amazing. good movie. I and I think that he can fit that kind of tone and add the craziness of the Joker. I think that I will never... Turn away a comedy director and say they can't because the Russos did it. Yeah. Adam McKay did it for oh, Big yeah. Short. So and and Peyton Reed did it. Mm. So hey, buddy. Oh, hey, Josh Josh yeah, 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 yeah. So I Josh McCuga's joining I joining think the table. Here's why. We'll get, can we get him another mic? So we want to take RB 3s mic away. Uh yes, yes sorry, coming in. RB3. All right, cool. Here, here's why here. Joaquin hey. is hooked up during for this because even if the movie sucks, he's still gonna have here a dope Josh, performance and nobody's yeah. gonna Thanks, blame Kelsey. him. There's nothing about this movie that's gonna get blamed on him. No, I agree. So. Um, which I don't think the movie's gonna suck, but. McCooks, we're talking about the you know the Joker. Yeah. And we're saying that. Um, 
I think that Joaquin Phoenix, because of this, I'm, I'm very excited for this film, and I think that he's got a chance to become out of the. Here's where we ranked him so far. Okay. Number one of all time, Heath Ledger. Okay. Number two, Mark Hamill. Okay. Uh, number three is Jack Nicholson. Okay. Number four, is Cesar Romero. Okay. Number five is Jared Leto. Okay. We think that Joaquin can hit the number two spot. Well, I mean, I think that he's so weird in general. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and he goes so full method, just like Jared Leto, I guess, to a certain extent. Uh, that I, I definitely think because this is a standalone and that we've never really seen anything kind of like this before, and he, it's his movie to really go mm-hmm. after. I think it would be awesome. Yeah. I really do. I do think they're going to go that Kings of Comedy route. I absolutely think they're going to go. I said they, they think they said that they're not. I think they're going to go that route. Mm-hmm. I, I think that he is pretty method, but like if Jared Leto did what Jared Leto is doing then today, he would get fired off the set. Right. Like in hashtag me too, you don't send people used condoms to their dressing room yeah. and not get fired yeah, from crazy. what you're doing. Yeah, I mean, so was, I don't yeah. think he'll go like method like that. Yeah, that's but, to me, pump that, the brakes, but, dude, yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that to me wasn't method. That was that was somebody giving excuses to act like an asshole. Yeah, I really. But I mean, you don't the Joker, send, where's the Joker doing that? Right. I don't see the Joker. Every day. Well, that's just interpretation of the Joker. You being, yeah. being an asshole, say, like, yeah. "Oh, I'm just." I really think he would get fired if that was today. He should got fired then. I think that was. I agree. I that's that's that. That, that to me sticky is really like stupid. magazines and stuff. Stu- that's stupid. I mean, that's dead like, rats. Yeah, that's 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 someone being an asshole to be an asshole and blaming it on the job. That's what it is. I mean, because there's a difference when you look at like if you go back and watch Man in the Moon, like that documentary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, there's a difference there. I know that, still, and even then, even, even then, then control, people yeah. were like saying how out of control it was. Like, you look at what Did you see how like how concerned the director was in Man on the Moon. He was like, can Foreman, I please? Yeah. Uh, me, yeah. Can you can we just get one take? Can we just like one? Jim, can we get one? Yeah. Or Andy, can we get <laughs> yeah, one? Want- As a director, it's kind of like when you hang around with a comedian that's always trying to one up you. You're like, just for one second, be a human being, but yeah, talk but to me. See, that's the difference though with Milos Forman. Finn Mil- Milos Forman <laughs> didn't want him to jump out. Because he loved what he was getting, yeah. so he was so torn behind it. It wasn't this thing like, "Oh, just stop doing this. I need Jim back for a second. Right. He was like, "I don't know what to do because this is so brilliant, but it's driving me fucking crazy. Like it was driving the whole set crazy. Yeah. Have you watched it yet? The Mm-mm. watch the Man in the Moon documentary with Jim Carrey as Andy Kaufman. It was him and so Jimmy Lawler, incredibly cr- just crazy. Jerry yeah. Lawler, Jimmy Lawler, Jerry Lawler. Um, uh, Ryan Satin just pulled my wrestling card, Jimmy Lawler. <laughs> um, but there was a, but it's just you look at all that because that again, that was his interpretation of Andy Coffin. Because right. when you look at Jerry Lawler, Jerry Lawler was like, that's not how Andy really was. Mm-hmm. But that was what we saw of him. So that's the interpretation that he took. And you believe that stuff when you watch the documentary. I don't believe the Joker sending condoms. I don't believe he's doing yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I think he was really trying to... Rats. I mean, that's also David Ayer, too, trying to go for more, like, urbanized, like, you know, street gangster joker. This yeah. is a street gangster joker would do, you know? Um, yeah, yeah, ultimately... I mean, I kind of thought it was funny that I, I think he still took from James Franco from Spring Breakers as his inspiration. I love that character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the Joker, but... Uh, look at my shit. Yeah, look at my shit. Uh, but, yeah, no, I, I'm really hoping Joaquin Phoenix could do well, because we... Uh, if. I don't know if they're still using Jared. Are they still using Jared Leto in like the modern? Uh, yeah. they, they're, they're talking about supposedly. it. Supposedly. Oh, they're okay, talking about it. Yeah. I don't want to see both of them at the same time. Yeah, they're, 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 I mean, <laughs> well, you're, you're going to, I think. I mean, well, <laughs> also, it depends. We don't know. We There is really no plan yet for DC. We know that. World's of DC. That's the next thing. Is that no, no? That's, that's what, it's not called DCU oh, right. anymore. What, the world of DCU. Yeah. It's fine. Um, <laughs> Wait a second. It's, it's fine. A new name? The, no, well, it I was mean, never it, DCEU. We deem we coined it DCEU, and they have now come out with the world of DC, world of DC which is still not technically official, but they are using it. The movies in DC. So, um, <laughs> we, but we know that we have Aqu- Aquaman, which I yeah. think could be good. Um, Shazam. 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 I'm Wonder not. Wonder Woman too. I li- really liked. I didn't like the ending, but I really, really enjoyed Patty Jenkins' Wonder Woman. I don't like what I've seen so far. They showed at the of Wonder Woman too. It, it, yeah, it looked, kind of it looked yeah. like a infomercial. It was very it, unfinished. Oh. I mean, it was well, it the was tone was shooting, but it was it was yeah. The t- yeah. But that to me, it's like you know, Guardians. The first Guardians was two weeks. Yeah. It was they had shot two weeks and it looked like exactly what you got from uh, from the movie. So uh, that you know, you you have time to put it together. I think that the actual the scene, you know, what it reminded me of Glow season two when they did the Which mall is amazing. scene. The mall scene, exactly. 
it reminded me of that. Okay. And it, that's what the movie. Well, what trying it is with the in movie. the '80s, and it is at the mall. I know, but so. it, but but yeah, but the movie doesn't have to feel. <laughs> is, it, is Roxy on a? She's she's it seems a little fiery. She's feisty today. No, no, I'm, she, I just heard her uh, Dagnino got into it. Because oh, he, I'll, I'll tell you why. Because every single week on DC Movie News, I talk about DC, and you guys know I I will rip it apart with the best yeah. of them. I have not one bad word to say about Wonder Woman two. I trust in Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot. Did you see the footage? Yeah. Okay. I think that it was rough looking, uh, but I like the kid sliding across the floor yeah. and the, like. Oh, see, I didn't like that. Oh, okay, see, I, didn't I like did. That. I thought that, um, that that to me looks like they're trying to do that. That was not like the humor that was in the first one. Hitting the bear situation, whatever. But yeah. like, it, I have nothing bad to say about this yet. I'm a big fan of Patty Jenkins, and I think that what they did that first movie was great. Yeah. It was exactly the kind of movie I wanted to see. I agree I did, with the third act. Was yeah, it, it is a shitty villain, but but that happens a lot uh, with a lot of these movies. So th- I was excited to see what's going to happen, and the movie could be very different from what we saw at Comic Con. That much is is true. So I I am still looking forward to it. But those three movies, I still think I know that we differ on this. I still think that Man of Steel two should have been a priority for them. Uh, where are we out with? Thank that? you. Where are we out with that? Is it with is, Man of Steel two? Is, is it official? Is he out? Well, the, the no. whole Henry Cavill thing was that they're going to focus on Supergirl before they they make another Superman yeah. movie, and that's why Cavill is probably walking. He's, 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 he's not being, out. He's not in. He's not. He's not, not out. He's still, not, there's, <laughs> there's still the negotiations happening. They wanted him. Still Shazam. negotiating. Put your Cavill in. I think you put that's, your that's what spilled out onto. Is that a Roxy original? Put your Cavill in and shake them all about. Krypton lifting team. So this is yeah. This is. I think it's Negotiations, but I. But, but, the, but the bottom line is, we're not getting a, a Man of Steel two anytime soon. Yeah, anytime soon, because before that, we got. Uh, Don't say that though. Uh, Gotham City Sirens, Birds never, of Prey. But... We've got a Suicide Squad two that's already working on. We've got yeah. the Flash movie that should be going in production. If we even stick with the same group of people, <clears throat> if negotiations. They go with Flashpoint, but, but, and they can bring in no Cal- more but Flashpoint. Again, just, no, just, just Flash. Flash. Look, negotiations. No idea negotiations are yeah. negotiations for a reason. So one of the yeah. one of the things that could happen is if he is in limbo right now, they could say we are doing say, this look, in 2020. Here's, here's the thing: we'll sign. Get that movie into production. Yeah. You get Henry back, but we want Man of Steel too, and we need it by twenty twenty yeah. or twenty twenty one, whatever yeah. it is. Jeez. That could very well happen. And b- by the way, I'm not not with you that we should have a Man of Steel too. I you just didn't like the first one. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, I didn't like Man of Steel. I liked it. Dumbest uh, dog shit I've ever seen in my life. Well, <laughs> Roxy, <laughs> Roxy is sassy today. I know, you really are. Finstock set me off. Finstock really got Finstock, you going. Finstock ruined really my weekend. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to <laughs> listen to this interview because I am intrigued. It was amazing. He apologized. Yeah. He, he, did he? Kind, you, in, in, in a Finstock oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. way. Okay. In a Finstock way. I wish you were in here for it. Yeah. yeah. When was it? Early on? It was the beginning of the like show. First yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you he, missed it by a long she went time. In on him, she went in on him, and I said, we need him here to be able to defend himself. And he did? He called in. Kind of. Oh, okay. Called yeah. In. Well, he pretty much agree- agreed. Did he? That what that's, he did that's was wrong. That's the thing, though. You never really know what he did at the end. <laughs> and then, but yeah. he, he said, he, well, he said, no, here's the thing. He okay. booked, so he booked himself on this thing, and by the end of it, he said, Double he, goes, it's, he basically said it was their fault for booking him on a Saturday because he doesn't do Saturdays. He likes to drink. Right. Right. <laughs> But he knew. Right. So anyway, but he booked but himself. You listen to the beginning of the show, and you can get all that. So okay. yeah. I do want to hear from the fans, though. So we'll, a couple things that we'll do here because I want to talk. We can talk about anything you want to talk about on the show. But I, if you really want to go in on the Joker, um, we can do that. We'll take some comments from the chat, Riley. And in, in the meantime, why don't you guys call in? Let's get some calls and hear from a few of you guys. Again, if you want to talk about the Joker and you give your thoughts on it, you can do that. If you want to talk about anything you've heard in the show thus far, go ahead. Or if there's anything else you want us to talk about. Call on in. Make sure you do that. We'll we'll get to you guys now. Also, Riley will go through the, the twits and, and check that out too. But what are they saying in the in the YouTube chat? I mean, a lot of people are saying that Joaquin is going to be a hell of a Joker. That they're very yeah. excited. I saw one guy. Say, you know, that. are you excited? We put it out there on Twitter, a Collider video. Are you excited? So one guy say no. That was it. That was <laughs> all right. Buddy. Did did, uh, did Dorian? Did Dorian the poll? Yeah, did Dorian put that poll up? About... Yeah, let me go find it real quick. Yeah. Uh, there's. I do want to like. I'm going to tease something for you. There is. Big news. Some big news. Oh, came. Well, let's do that. Ooh. You want to do that? Yeah, let's do the big news first. Breaking Brian news. Singer is back and he's going to direct Red Sonia. Interesting. They're doing a Red Sonia remake? Yeah. Brian Who Singer. Who is Red Sonia? Brian Singer. Red oh, I he, thought he was. Oh. I know. He was I know. Out. Everybody let it sink in. He was out. It's out there. Red Sonia? Yeah. Brian Red Sonia. Singer? Not, it was Red Sonia. It was, it, Red, it? Red Sonia was with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Brigitte Nielsen. Yes. Uh, it was like it was like kind of a spin off. He wasn't Conan the Barbarian, but he was. Kind of a character uh, that way, okay. based okay. off the old uh, comic book. Yeah. So, did they say who it's going to be? 
Brett, uh, who's going to be yeah, Brett Sonia? No, no, right okay. now it's just it's for Millennium. Brett uh, Sonia, she's like a Russian spy, right? Sort of like uh, Jennifer Lawrence and that. No, it's yeah. Here's the thing that's going to happen with this. Stop, stop, stop up. moving. But yeah, I mean, look, not you. Here's what's gonna, the, Red Sonia. No matter what the movie is um, that he does, right? Because here, here's 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 let's call it what it is. So sources say that Millennium is going to pay Singer top dollar for the assignment, which is seen as a step toward rehabilitating the director's image. Yep. Singer was fired by Fox at, for Bohemian Rhapsody after repeatedly not showing up for work on set of its Queen biopic Bohemian Rhapsody, among other work offenses. Dot in December, dot dot. And well, he was sued by Caesar Sanchez Guzman, who accused the director of raping him when he was 17 year when he was a 17 year old boy in 2003 and All it right. wasn't the first time that singer had faced such an accusation so right. here's the thing that's going to happen with this no matter <laughs> what movie this guy does it's going to keep coming up and yep. there's going to be protests so as a studio you've got to do one of two things you either have to say we're done with this we're not hiring this guy or you got to say okay understand we're going to get a lot of pushback now for this Let's be ready for it because that that's that's the only two choices you what, have. How do you be ready for it? You, you I don't just, think you hire do him. I, I, well, I, think, I don't think option if you B hire is him, an how option. How do you be ready for oh, this? Is a, a a guy who's been accused Many multiple times. times. A lot of, of there's always been stuff running around yeah. and just uh, underage assault and all of these things. Right. Uh, that also has been like one of Hollywood's worst kept secrets Ever. that everybody oh, talks God. about. When I, was, yeah. when I was at Silver, I would hear stories about him all for, the time. For years. And that was I heard from a guy and who was an extra that got hit on by him. And I mean, so how it was just you, like, hit yeah. me. Hit on's different yeah, than yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. that he was not of age. Mm. Uh, but how, well, then that's a problem. But how do yeah. you, so how do you prepare for that? Do you, do you just, as the studio say, we're separating the art from the artist, we don't like him either? Well, yeah. they, this is numbers for them, and you got to look. I mean, the new Bohemian Rhapsody is about to come out, and even though he got fired from it, the buzz off of that is incredible. And it's going to make a huge amount of How money. How much of it did he direct? Uh, he directed 95% of it. Did he really? Yeah. yeah. And wow. I think that yeah. He's he got get... fired in the last like two weeks or something. Wow. I do yeah. think that yeah. he's getting that. They on purpose cut it from when we saw, but mm -hmm. I I think that he's getting the credit on it fully for it. I'm not positive well, about that, If he did 95%, he deserves to. Who, so, singer? Yeah. 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 No, the credit is going to. Really? Yeah. Yeah. really? Yeah, that was is that, that for that sure? That was the news. Yeah. Yeah. I'll double check that out. Bring that up. Because I thought then they would have showed it to us. No, no, no. Go to the go to IMDb for being What's the guy's name? Dexter? Daxter? Dax? Doctor? Because it was the DP who finished it, right? Or something like that. I want to see who gets credit on IMDb. Oh, it looks like he. You're right. Brian Singer, Singer gets directing credit in yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. And what's the other guy's yeah. name? Dexter, Daxter, Doc. Uh, uh, Brian Singer gets it. Yeah. Uh, so Dax Shepard. No. Dax Shepard directed it. <laughs> nope. Dexter Not Fletcher. It. Yeah. It's, it's, actually, it? it's, a, it's a sequel to Dexter uh, Fletcher. Chips. Dexter Fletcher. <laughs> Is that yeah. Yeah. Chips uh, too. Find it. I'm still chipping. It. Oh, still chipping. Still chipping. Chip around the old block. Chip off the old block. Chip off the old block. So Riley, there what was is this talk chip? <laughs> there was talk. Chips three. Chips on my shoulder. <laughs> this ain't the chipmunks. All right, boy. So well, I told such a what just happened. I, uh, I told such a dad joke yesterday. That I got I got to tell before we take this okay. call, and I did it on purpose. Hold tight on there, caller. I did it on purpose because I like. You ever like to just tell like a really bad joke yes. to really just bring the house down and be like yep. like crickets going everywhere. <laughs> um, so yesterday. My wife, my wife did something. I go, oh, there's Sadie again. She's like that old Britney Spears song. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> the whole room just turned like, yeah, like that. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm walking with everyone like this, this dagger eyes on me. And I'm just like walking to my room like, yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. All right. We got some phone calls now. Hey, you are on Collada Live. Who we got? Hello, my... Uh, I'm calling from Norway. Nice. Norway. Norway. What's up, man? Who, years old. What's your name? Uh, Christian. Good name. Good. Um, so, yeah. what, what's up, Christian? What do you got? Yeah, I just first want to say I uh, I really love what you're doing with uh, Collider Live. Thank I you. I think it's a great continuation of what the small show was. Thank you. And Thanks. also being its own thing and holding its own. I appreciate that. Thanks, Thank man. you for the nice words, and you have an amazing first name. So, what uh, what um, what would you like to talk about? So, I really love the conversation you had about soundtracks a few episodes ago. Sure. Oh. And I wonder if you have uh, some uh, soundtracks you thought were really underrated. For example, uh, I really love uh, Alexander Desplat soundtrack for the Imitation Game, oh, yeah, which I think going. is oh, yeah. amazing. Yeah, I know. What one Riley will tell you is is, uh, is Thor. He lost oh, the first God, Patrick yes. Doyle, right? Patrick yeah. Doyle, that is a, such an yeah. underrated. It's one of the best. It's my favorite yeah. score in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mean, I talked about it. I talked about it um, 
you know what? It's it, the score, the whole score itself, not so much, but the the main track, and that's like eleven minutes, is from Shame, the Michael Fassbender. Mm. Uh, I never saw it. It's a, the movie is intense, but the actual there's a, the, like there's like an eleven minute thing. It's it's um it's great. That that that's really good. I mentioned it on the show, Eternal Sunshine of Spotless Mind by John Bryan. John I think, Bryan, yeah. I think that is uh is underrated. Have I you think ever Norman, to this one? Same thing, John Bryan, Norman's World, The yeah. Kingdom, Danny Elfman, really good. Is so good. It's really good. Yeah. And, uh, Tyler Bates' is 300 is, is is really good, pretty epic. Yep. The one I keep, you know what? This is one. I keep telling you, and you still haven't listened to it, and I told you so many times, that the yeah. movie sucks, but the score is great, and that is uh, Transformers. What? Uh, Transformers I've talked about already, <laughs> no, but no. I was uh, no, no, Interstellar I like. <laughs> um, it's uh, Robin Hood, the Ridley Scott Robin Hood. Oh, oh yeah, you uh, did tell show me. me. Show me who. Zimmer, right? right? Is it Zimmer? I, I, it's, I would think it is. Who? Put in, yeah, put in Robin, Robin Hood. In. Um do you guys Ridley like, Scott, really Scott. What do you got, Makuga? Do you guys like uh, Into the Wild, the Eddie Vedder Into the Wild? Yes, uh, I do. Yeah, yeah I listen to that one off. Huh. Yeah. yeah. So good. who? Yeah. Do we know Mark who did this? Mark Mike Streitenfeld. Oh, wow. Underrated. Mark. Underrated. Listen to it. It's really, it's Great really name. good. We don't have to listen to the whole thing. He right did now, the but... score for uh, Prometheus, and that's a really underrated score as well. Okay. Ah. His track "Life" is a uh, beautiful. Yeah, man, it's good. All right. So thank you for the call, my man. I appreciate it. Christian. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's take another one. Have let's fun take in another one. Sure. Riley, why we? I want to go to Norway. We got five minutes left, so I want to take another call. But any other comments coming in? Hashtags or anything? Uh, like you know, Norway. just a lot of talk on. Uh, you know, this came out too. Patrick Stewart is Bosley in the new uh, Charlie uh, Angels that's reboot. A, a lot cast. of people are throwing this. Yeah. Uh, a little out less there. controversial. Who's, who's, direct, who's directing that? Do we know? Uh, Elizabeth Banks. Oh, right. I heard that. Yeah. That, that scares huh. me a little bit, I'll tell you. I, think um, you, I, think I, still, yeah. I didn't like Pitch Perfect, too. I thought it was terribly directed. Yeah. The movie did a lot, did very well. Yeah. And I thought that. Um, I thought that she, uh, you know, was a great producer, and I, I happen to like her a lot as an actress. Who would you prefer directing, Charlie? I mean, I'm sure a lot Lucy of people, Lim. but. Um, oh, I'll, t- I'll tell you right now. Or uh, you know who? No, Kate. Kate Do they direct? No, the, the director of Blockers. Um, Kate, uh, Kate Dippel, Kate Cannon, Kate Cannon, Kate Cannon, Kate Cannon. She, that again? I Kate feel Kane. like she would be great. Okay. I, th- I think she's a much better director, and I think she would be really good. I think she directs comedy and action pretty well from what you saw in Blockers. Mm. I think Kate Cannon would have been a much better choice. Um, mm. But you know, here's the thing: the second movie. It's made, so made monsters, monsters. Monster. It beat out uh, Mad Max Free Road opening weekend. And so you can direct whatever the hell you want. Yeah. I want to direct Charlie's Angels. You got it. You know, did so she direct the third pitch perfect? Or? No, no, she I did don't not. Think so. oh, okay. She didn't. She only the second one. I think because she, I mean, her directing was panned. Um, oh, okay. But her, but you know, again, you can't. I don't care how bad your directing is. If you make money, you're going to get jobs. Um, you got any That's more calls, gentlemen, guys? Not at the moment. No. Not, no, no, no. What's yeah. wrong with wow. you people? Right. People scared. Jeez. That's interesting. You know, calling in is sometimes yeah. tough because I feel like a lot of people are either li- listening to or watching this or at work. work. And, well, there's or... like 3,000 people in there right now. Yeah. Might as well. Um, all right. Well, then, you know what? We'll, uh... None of you guys want to talk to me. No, I have a, I have a good it's question. Fine. I'll throw it out there. More faith in uh, Aquaman or Venom? Aquaman. Yeah. 100%. 100%. Aquaman. Yeah. yeah, for so, so many different reasons. Aquaman. <laughs> Who is saying that? Copster. Copster. <laughs> so uh, it's a sound bite. What are you talking about? We yeah. grabbed it from the movie. Okay. Well, you almost had it. Uh, 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 by the way, what was what was the name that you came up with for the Kelly one? Cadet, Cadet, Kelly. Oh, Cadet Kelly, Cadet Gun yeah. Kelly Cadet is, is going to be Roxy's. Oh new yeah, I picture. listened to this Eminem thing. Which one? Who do you think won? Eminem. You think Eminem won? Yes. Really? I, Eminem is awesome. Em, he listen, is awesome. Machine, Are you machine, giving it to him because he's Eminem? No, I'm giving him because his flow over Machine Gun Kelly's flow is... His flow is way better, but his the you, words... Your jaw was open watching the Machine Gun I like the Machine Gun Kelly thing. I watched it again. It was fine. It was awesome. Yeah. I, I, listen, I don't know. I All just, right, it, so you got him. The yeah. video was right. fire. All right, listen. What else is fire? The show All he was... did was have a bat by a train track. <laughs> no, I'm not saying the actual... <laughs> he, was eating, like, <laughs> he was eating cereal. The video didn't matter, but I'm saying yeah, his video... He was eating cereal. Oh, that's hard. I eat Crispix this morning. I'm a hard-ass What's rapper. It's a Crispix? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking dope-ass cereal. That's what Crispix is. Beardo, you uh, find Beardo, you find that sound clip of Makuga saying I'm a hard ass rapper and you get it immediately. That is oh, awesome. Um, all right, listen, this is the show. It was a lot of fun. I want to thank um, RB3, thank I think you Ryan, the legend, the legend. Thank you, the legend. Yeah. Uh, thank you to our caller. Wait, real quick. Yes, I Clyde tweeted quick. RB3 like a couple weeks ago. Yes. I want to do a, like a, a dedicated RB3. Hip hop conversation <laughs> because we, did we are. Did, oh, did you? Yeah, he was, yeah, on, he was on here for the MMA. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. It but he's got, he's got some holes in his knowledge. Oh, does he, he does? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he didn't know who Everlast was. Everlast. 
Yeah, I mean, that's an easy skip, though. What? Like, <laughs> <laughs> jump, dude, jump, jump around. around is good, but then he went to Everlast, and he was just like kind of That was Whitey you. Ford. That's when he did Whitey Ford down yeah. the line. But he no, I liked him best then. All right. What? All right, listen. Sorry. We are going to move on. You're not missing much with Everlast. We'll be back tomorrow. We're going to be back tomorrow. It is Collider Live. Thank you, guys. Make sure you hashtag Collider Live. Leave all your comments. Like, if you're watching on the replay, comment and like. Helps the show. Keep it going. Thank you. We'll be back. What do we want us to talk about tomorrow? Riley will look at the comments, and he'll tell me. Bye.